Sino Yekong, like Niana Deja, Prosper Uchimana, Steve Crown, and loads and loads, you know, of God's ministers. And I'm excited. I know you are excited. There are lots of people around me here, and I will be speaking with them to hear, you know, what their expectations are for this evening. By the way, my name is Prudence Okona, and I will be anchoring this evening's pre-service live, you know, interactions with the people. So join me as I talk to some of of our members and visitors who are here with us. Who is going to talk to me? Hello, brother. Can you talk to me? How are you doing? Please, can you stand up? Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? Please, look at the camera. No, I'll be very, very happy. I'm excited for you. But I believe that even if I didn't see him, I'll meet God. Yes, that's what's important. That, that important. when you come to the nation's worship, you meet God. That is what's important. Do you know about the commanding the day midnight prayer? Uh, I have been a partaker of it. Oh, amazing. From the day it started. So, and I, I have a lot of testimonies mm -hmm. on commanding the day to the glory of God. Hallelujah, somebody. So he's excited. What's your name, by the way? My name is Obina. Okay. Obina. So Obina is expecting to meet God tonight at the nation worship. So for the very first time, in the nation's worship, we'll be having the command of the day session from 11.30 p.m. to 12 a.m. So please don't miss this edition. Don't miss it at all. If you are in Abuja, make your way straight to the Glory Dome. And if you are not in Abuja, you can connect with us live on all our socials using our many hashtags, Nations Worship 2024. Our theme for, the, for, for this year is the key of David. Please don't miss it. For anything let me look for some more people to talk to me who are here to meet god thank you so much obina it is so amazing to have you join us as a visitor and i hope you do meet god amen thank you thank you god all right sister brother sister please can you talk to me can you talk to me we are live at nations worship please can you no look at my camera <laughs> all right come on come on please Right. Okay. Come.
at the Glory Dome. And with me here is Judy Fene Abba. So Judy, tell me what your experience is. I'm expecting the mighty, mighty move of God. I am expecting chains to be broken, burdens lifted off the shoulders of people, and the mighty, mighty move of God's presence. My heart is open, my spirit is open. And not about to miss this night. And what's this night all about? Paul and Silas now. Exactly, not just only Paul and Silas night, but the command in the day prayers. So please, wherever you are, connect. If you're about, if you're outside the world, please connect. Use this hashtag, hashtag Nations Worship 2024. So Judy, whose ministration are you looking forward to? I'm most looking forward to Minister Debbie's ministration. You are my life. You are my life. When I'm running out of breath, I know that you will breathe on me. You are my life, you are my life. So please, you cannot afford to miss Nations Worship 2024. We are expecting you. Wounded is our wound. Is our wound. And I'm still here, Prudence O'Connor, and I know the Glory Dome is filled. People are excited, they are seated and anticipating that. I'm excited, I don't know about.
night. Let your power move more than ever before. Go ahead and begin to ask of the Lord. Father, we ask for the move of your power, the overflowing of your presence, the radiation of your glory that we have never seen before over our life, over our destiny, and over the nations of the earth. We give you the praise, Lord. We give you the honor, Lord. We give you the adoration, Lord. We celebrate your majesty, Lord. Thank you, Master, for your presence that shall be overflowing. Thank you, Master, for your glory that, are, that shall be radiating. Thank you, Master, for your power that shall move here more than ever before. We give you the praise. We give you the honor. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. God's servant, our Father, and the Lord called this night the night of Paul and Silas. In Acts of Apostles chapter 16 and in verse number 25, 26. Acts of Apostles chapter 16 and in verse 25 and 26. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and they sang praises unto God and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake so that they found the foundations of the prisons were shaken. And immediately all the doors were opened and every man's band were loose. You are going to pray tonight. Father, as I praise as I pray and, and praise you tonight, break every chain of my life, break every chain of my destiny, break every chain of my of my family. Go ahead and begin to pray, Father. As we pray and praise, as we pray and praise, as we pray and praise tonight, break every chain, every chain of our life, every chain of our family, every chain of our nations. Go ahead and begin to pray, Father. I will not leave you tonight without with any chain on my life. I will not leave you tonight. Tonight, with any chain hanging on my destiny, I will not leave here tonight with any chain hanging on my family. Father, as we pray and as we praise, break every chain, open every door, open every prison door, open the cap the cap the door of captivity around my life, around my destiny. And tonight shall be my night of escape. Go ahead and pray as we pray and praise. Father, break every chain, break every chain in the name of Jesus Christ face fresh oil fresh anointing fresh insight fresh illumination father as nations and millions and multitude will be drawing on this man too tonight father anointing beyond the demand anointing beyond the demand let every expectation be met let every yoke be broken let every captive be set free let every affliction be healed in the name of jesus christ we give you the praise we give you the honor we honor you lord in the name of jesus christ the lord has said an answer to us. How many of us believe? If you believe that the Lord has said an answer to us tonight, lift up your hands of voices and give him the praise. Father, we give you the praise. We give him the honor. We give you the adoration. We glorify your name. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I know that you are here with testimonies from the previous decrees, legislations, pronouncements, declarations and prayers of God's servant. I am no, I'm aware that you are here with that testimony. Go to the glory gate there. Our pastors are there to pick up the testimonies and at the appropriate time you'll be called upon to share your testimony. And tonight shall be another night of your testimony. Give Jesus a big clap of hands as we receive the praise. Tribes and tongues, we have gathered 
to worship you.
throne. Nobody has taken your throne. You are.
something is opening up in your life tonight. Something is opening up. A door is opening. It's the key of David that opens and no man shuts. Shuts and no man opens. I've said before you an open door and no man can shut. Something is opening up in your life. Shake the hands. Go, 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 go. Testimonies you are about to hear will reproduce in your life. Yours will be the next in the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate Jesus with a big, big, big clap of hands? Please take your seats wherever you are. We have several people here to testify to the goodness of God. Please, as we call their names, as I call their names, please celebrate God for them. Because your own testimony will be the next in the name of Jesus Christ. We are, uh, I have um, a first on my list, Sister Grace Daniel. Sister Grace Daniel. Mr. and Mrs. Chukuneke. Mr. and Mrs. Chukuneke. Celebrate Jesus for them as they come. Ola Scholastica Emmanuel. Ola Scholastica Emmanuel. Mr. Nam Basi. Mr. Noam Basi from Enugu Central. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Sister Mata Aluko. Sister Mata Aluko. And Pastor Samuel Okoye. Pastor Samuel Okoye. Again, um, Sister Grace Daniel, Mr. and Mrs. Chukuneke. Sister uh, Scholastica Ola Emmanuel. Noam Benson, Benson, I beg your pardon. I'm Benson from Enugu Central, and then Mata Aloko, and then Pastor Samuel Okoye. Give the Lord a big hand of praise as they come. Sister Grace Daniel. Sister Grace Daniel seemed to be far. The glory dome is very large. They are coming from very, very far. Give the Lord a big hand of praise for them. But why she comes, she, she told me that her life has been ravaged with delays. Especially marital delays. Nothing was working maritally. Even though she made a covenant with God that she was going to keep herself until she gets married. She kept herself, yet the devil didn't want to allow her rest. That drove her into this commission. She had so many suitors that disappointed her, and she was so bitter in her heart, and it led her to read, God's hand me this book, Am I Bitter? And when she read that book, she said she decided to forgive all the men that hurt her. And then here came her husband. Today she's happily married. And she came to testify right there at the stand. Somebody here, God is giving you your own testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. Come, Mr. and Mrs. Chukun Neke. Please, you tell us your name again and straight to the point what God did for you. Praise the Lord. I came in this altar on November last year. After my wedding, I failed marriage many years. But God of this dynamis proved himself. After that, he prayed for us. It's not a question of two weeks. I need to queue in to my full business. I'm into construction, rural education project. I get two transformer jobs at a time. 
in Kubwa, under two weeks, I finished the project. Now, let me, let me, let me come in to help a little. Now, he also had several delays in life, had the marriage that failed, nothing was working. And then he came, con got connected to the commission, started receiving instructions from God's servant and prayers from God's servant. And then God finally settled him. He got married to his beautiful wife. He brought her up here and then God's servant prayed for them and told him to go because every door has already been opened. And as they left, barely two weeks, everything changed. He got transformer contracts. He got other contracts job that he had to do. He had an estate that he had abandoned for so many years. Right now, he has started developing the estate right there in Kubwa. Everything has changed. One is 18 flat, two, two bedroom and three bedroom. I have roof 11 for 15 years. One is 18 flat. Two, two bedroom, two, two bedroom. Yes. Years. 15 years. 15 years. Then the other one is nine flat, one, one bedroom. A very good location in Kubwa. People say I'm a mad person. I do follow God. All my money, I will give God. All my money, I taught church. They tell my wife face to face when I want to marry her. I say, if you want to marry me, I'm addicted to God. Follow me. Forget about money. You get money. Right now, sir, everything has changed. He's developing both estates now that have been abandoned for 15 years. His life has suddenly turned around. He's here to give God all the glory. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Everything the devil has resisted in your life, I declare the resistance is over. Embargo lifted and a new day is here in Jesus' name. Please confirm your name and tell us straight to the point what God did for you. Praise the Lord. I'm Ola Scholastica Emmanuel by name. I was here during the healing and deliverance service on Tuesday. And that did located me. He mentioned my case about Serpentine Foundation and Occultic Uncles. I graduated more than a year. No issues, but I was denied of my results. And after the service here, before everything, I fell under anointing. And God looked, Daddy met me there and told me that, daughter, the end has come. The next thing I saw him, he went straight to the coven and cut the serpent's head. And aside that, the ground opened. I saw myself coming from the ground. From here, immediately, I went back to the school. Reaching the university gate, I told the gate that I've come to collect my result because my father said the end is here. So I've come to collect my result. Only for me to reach there, the person said he printed my certificate with Ahmed, which is supposed to be Emmanuel. But as daddy prayed here, Ahmed disappeared from the statement of result. And Emmanuel appeared, and I've collected my result. People said I cannot collect it. My uncle said I cannot be great than him, but God made it possible. They said I will see how I will graduate and collect my result. But mercy of God located me, and here is the result to the glory of God. Name suddenly changed from Ahmed. They, they printed the result. Printed the result. And one of the names, instead of Emmanuel, was written Ahmed. That was what the exam officer told her. So they kept her and kept her pending. She went and told them, I'm here to collect my result. They went to the file, brought out the result. And the man looked at it again. Where, said, the, where, where was Ahmed have changed to Emmanuel? Emmanuel, sir. They didn't print a new one with they a new name. Print a new one again. This is the result in our hands. Are you just what was going on here? Come, come. What's going on here? Somebody give the king the praise. I think we should also look at the clip of the commanding the day where her name was mentioned and her situation with the serpentine spirit. And once that was broken, do you remember the day, the particular day? Pastor, you, you, you might remember, they might remember it. Both at the healing, at the healing service, the power came on her, but in the night, the name, her name was, her situation and name was mentioned. With that serpentine spirit operation, 18th or so, 
And then the next day, she went and the result came, name changed. Everything the devil has used to limit your life, the change of story is happening here today. If you are saying amen, you will say it like a believer. The change of story is happening here today. Shout the loudest, amen. Help me tell three people around you, tell them your change of story is happening here. Your change of story is happening. Your change of story. Give the Lord a praise. Please be seated. Please, you confirm your name and tell us what God did for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My name is Nam Benson from Enugu Central Church. Hallelujah. I'm here tonight to appreciate God um, for his mercy and his grace upon my life and upon my family. Most especially for connecting me to this, um, this commission and to this oil. Um, before I joined this commission, I was in the midst of a deadly battle that was seeking my head by all means, even before I got married. And uh, in a night encounter, I saw God's servant in my dream. I was in another church. I was in the same car with him. He asked me, where do you stay? I told him. He said, do you know where I stay? I said, yes. He said, move your things and come to where I stay. So he was driving and the car was just moving. This. He wasn't controlling the steering. I said, sir, the, the car is moving and you're not driving. He said, you don't fear here. That was the first statement he told me. He said, find something and do, and be doing. He was reading scriptures. So I woke up from that dream. I knew God wanted me to join this commission. The first thing God did for me when I joined this commission, to kill fear in my heart. Because of the level of battle that I was fighting. Killed fear in my heart. The messages, I kept eating them and swallowing them from time to time, sleeping their own. Awake, they are playing. And then, why I want to share this testimony tonight is because of what God did recently. And God has used this oil to pull me out of near-death experiences from time to time. And God favored me with a father. Hallelujah. So, some years ago, I started the business more than 19 years ago on a fuel station in the heart of the town that attracted so much battle. And then at a point, the battles were so much. That was before I joined this commission. I will remove this charm today. They will bring another one tomorrow. I will come there, just walk around my feet to start burning with fire. All manner at a point. I managed the place for like 10 years. I had to lease it out. It, the filling station. It was like giving the place up for 12 years. So in between that, those 12 years, there was a day God's servant came to Enugu. I was privileged to do protocol. And then I had a mind to tell him when we were passing through the station, to tell him, sir, please look at my, because of the rules of the protocol context, I said, sir, I didn't have courage to say this before, but anytime you're passing through town, can you step into this place? I've abandoned this place for 12 years. To my shock, he replied immediately, I said, we'll see. He replied immediately, I said, we'll see about that. I almost fell, fell off from the bed. I told my wife, did you see what I just saw now? He said, what is it? I said, did you? I gave her my phone. He said, are you sure it's the number that you sent text to? I said, it's the number. So we started praying about it. So when he came to a boy state, as he was going, God favored me. He passed through that place. Hallelujah. He stopped there and made it. The first thing he addressed was spirit of python. And in my dream, I would dream, I would see pythons lying on the roof and on the, on, the, on the handles of the roof everywhere. So I saw old sleeping. I was wondering what Python is happening. Python lying on the roof of the filling station. Sleeping. Sleeping. I said, what is all this? The day I gave up the place was the day sell from morning to night. Banks used to come there two times in a day for cash pick with their trucks. But the day we sold 15,000 naira from morning to night. I said, this battle is bigger than me. I, I left the place until I joined Dunamis as a commission. 
I went like Moses to the wilderness. When I came back, God's servant came there and dropped oil on the ground. And made some declarations. One thing that happened after that declaration is that I saw myself in a dream. And I was seated on this altar. My hair grew. I know I don't have hair in the physical. My hair grew and God's servant was rubbing my hair. Rubbing the hair. I Return saw, of glory. Yes. And then... I woke up, he said I should join Daniel Ekiko and dance. And I went there, and when I woke up, I don't need anybody to tell me what that dream meant. So I was imagining, so I was shaved before and I didn't know. You know, so the glory was gone before I didn't know. So we continued Sorry. and then we started, the, we started the place. When we started the place, few days, just the first day we started sales, we closed the sale of almost two million plus. From 15,000 in a day. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Hey! Hey! Ay, 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 ay. Please summarize. It was as if the person that did that went and reactivated it. When I entered there, the person I was partnering with is a, is a pastor with living faith. We prayed a prayer with Psalm 64 verse where he said that God shoots an arrow. After praying that prayer, I left to my house to prepare for service. While I was there, my manager called me and said, that station just caught fire now. I said, what? He said, the station is burning. A tanker that had 45,000 liters came there. Nobody knew where the fire came from. The building caught fire. The roof caught fire. If I drove like jail as I was going. People were calling me. People who have not called me for more than 10 years, you know, to share bad news that uh, maybe my station, I didn't pick any call. When I got there, I saw the fire because we are sharing friends. The trailer was, the fire was going up to heaven. I stood, I went straight to where my servant stood and poured oil. Everybody ran. I said, fire, you know your boundary. I said, you know your boundary. And you know your mission. When you finish your mission, you stop. People are telling me, call fire service. Call. I said, if I depend on God's fire service here, I'm finished. It is God that will fight this battle. I stood there. I sent text to daddy. He replied immediately. Divine intervention. I called my pastor. He was praying with me. Agreement, prayer on the phone. People were removing things from the minimap because everybody has concluded that the next place, he was hitting my house already. At the point, the Holy Ghost told me, are you saying fire will not catch you and they are removing things from there? I said, hey, take those things back. Now, to the glory of God, his filling station preserved. Fire, spread, you know your fire boundary. Fire couldn't come there. Hey! Hey! A thousand shall fall by your side and ten thousand at your right. It shall not come near you. In the name that is above every name, every mystery of diversion of destiny, today is the reversal of it. What is yours, no devil shall take. In the name of Jesus, go forth and break forth. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise and be seated. Please tell us your name and what God did for you. Above only, praise the Lord. I'm a bundle of testimony. My name is Mata One Aluko, and this is my husband, Ademola Aluko. Praise the Lord. The National Hospital, I was there for like a month. I. They came, hallelujah. I was there for like a month unconscious. My husband put a call through uh, Shadrach to call daddy that the wife is in the hospital, that is not talking. I could not recognize anybody at all. I was there lifeless, no pause, praise the Lord. You know, he continued like that and daddy rebuked the spirit of death. That was not enough. He continued. And... The last one that happened was on the 31st again. I collapsed on that 31st. Lifeless also. I could not remember where I was. I was in the hospital. 
I don't know where I was. I don't know what was happening. It was my husband that told me that daddy was praying on that particular Sunday, rebuking the spirit of death again. And the post came back. And I came back to life again. Praise the Lord. Celebrate God with a big hand of praise. She, she collapsed almost lifeless. Lifeless, according to what they told me. Lifeless. And miraculously, God's servant was rebuking the spirit of death that very Sunday. And then her pulse returned. She saying that, ha, don't die yet. Oh, your glory is around the corner. It's not yet your time. And I'm crossing to my 15. Hallelujah. It don't die yet. So, and she left. On the 23rd, daddy was declaring that the, the sinner has gone. He was still rebuking the spirit of, of death. The two the names that he called, patience and peace, are my sinner sister children. And the third one, he said, I look close. I jumped up. Even before daddy mentioned that name, that evening, I said, God, is our name not in heaven? Why are you mentioning people's case and you have not mentioned our own? And when he said, Aluko, I jumped up. Praise the Lord. I don't want to take it for granted because affliction has been, death has been looking for me. But since that day, all pain gone, I started eating. I will eat three squares, four, five, six, seven, me that I cannot eat. Celebrate God with a big, 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 big hand of praise. This is the right place to say hallelujah now. Say the hallelujah very well. Hallelujah! People are dying. Hallelujah. No, that, that's not the right place. People are dying. That devil is a bastard. That's the kind of thing to say to that kind of situation. But now I am out of it. Hallelujah. Did you hear what she said? That spirit of premature death, you are not the nurse in line. Patience, peace, aluko. All of them, the same family. Just all of them in a line like that. You will fulfill your days. That amen can be louder. You will fulfill your days. The agenda of the enemy concerning your life is arrested and cut off. Shout the loudest. Amen. Give him the praise as you take your seat. Please, you confirm your name and tell us straight to the point what God did. Hallelujah. My name is um, Samuel Lokerichin now. I'm a, also a privileged a pastor of this commission. Pastoring, yes, in the commission. Pastoring to Nami Sabmechi in the South local government. Is a minister in the commission in the uh, one of our branches in Enugu. Speak out and clear. Okay, Speak sir. your words. Yes, sir. sir, God did something. I want to actually appreciate God for the privilege of connection. Um, I joined Dunamis 2012, and when Dunamis came into Enugu after the first time the senior pastor came for a crusade in Enugu, and from there God gave me the privilege to be one of the pastors in the commission. And then, um, when the um, early life CQ was continuing, we were co connecting to that early life CQ. Then all of a sudden, I had the leading in my spirit for the church to be praying every night, Sunday. As we were doing that, the senior pastor now declared that the commanding today program will start. We started with that program. And then since that program started, we started seeing the move of God and the hand of God. Now, on a, on a Tuesday... I was in the office preparing for the land run service, and then the community people around where the church is were shouting, Pastor, please come. They were banging on my door, and I came. I said, what is the problem? They said there is a nurse living around that area that just passed on that died. So I rushed, carried the anointing oil that I was privileged through our regional pastor who took me to the senior pastor. He anointed that oil for me, and I've been taking that oil gradually. In fact, the day I touched that oil, I felt electricity, electricity flowing through that oil through my hands. I carried the oil, went to where the lady was, and then anointed her. And I said, I stand under the prophetic and apostolic mantle of my father, Dr. Pastor Paul in nature. Come back to life. I told them, take her to the hospital. The next 10 minutes I was called that God brought the lady back to life. 
secondly, on the crossover, on the crossover, Daddy was making brutal declarations concerning arrows that will be sent first January. One of our brothers who came in for the crossover night came with his younger brother, Emmanuel Joseph Chidera. So they were sitting on the front seat. So after everything, they went home. The next day, so I wanted to go home. The Spirit of God said, no, stay in church. So I was in church. And then the next thing I received the call. Pastor, pastor, pastor. I said, what is going on? He said, that's my younger brother that came to church. It's lifeless. I said, what is going on? And then I said, okay, bring him to church. They, they drove like Jehu came to church. The guy was lifeless. He's not a member of our church, but he just followed his brother and came to church. And then all of a sudden, something came upon me. As if I saw this spirit of a senior pastor literally jump into me. I said, if my father, the Lord, is here, what will he do? I carried the bottle of oil, managed to open his mouth, and I said, I stand under the prophetic and apostolic mantle of Meshaku. And then they took him to the hospital. After everything, they came to testify. The, younger, the senior brother came back to church and was just rolling on the ground. I said, Pastor, come. I told him, it's okay. God has taken control. He came and then shared the testimony. I said, what happened? He's, the, young, the young man now told me, he said, what? he said, the time I shouted to his ears, because I told him I shouted into his ears, he said the senior pastor appeared. That there were some demons that were carrying him. And then the senior pastor appeared and said, no, this one belongs to me. This one belongs to me. And the devil said, no, 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 he doesn't belong to you. He said, come and get out of here. He said, immediately that devil left him, the senior pastor carried him and brought him back to his body. And this is the picture of the young man. He's currently now in the crossover night in the church, watching, watching this program now. Give it all the people up and a loud shout of prayer. Amen. You can show the picture. He has started membership class. Okay. Blind Bartimaeus followed in the way. In, in case he becomes blind the second time. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. A bigger, bigger, bigger clap and the loudest shout of praise. Hallelujah! All the galleries outside in the overflow. Let's give Jesus another clap and a shout of praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 22 and in verse 27. Psalm 22, 27. Let's all read it together. It says, all the ends of the world shall remember and turn unto the law and all the kindreds of the nations shall worship before thee next verse for the kingdom is the lord and he is the governor among the nations somebody shout yes lord we have come tonight nations and this nation from all around the world to worship the Lord, to give him the glory due to his name. As the year is starting, we want to say, Father, thank you for another new year. Thank you for another opportunity for those things that you have in store for us to be manifested. And we have come tonight, nations worshiping before the Lord. I want to let you know that by the time we are living here in the early hours of the morning, your life and destiny will never remain the same in the name of Jesus. This Paul and Silas night is the night that you have been waiting for. The first time that we are going to be having the worship and wonders night, nations worship as well as the commanding the day midnight prayer. By all means, something is about to happen positively in your life and in our nation in the name of Jesus. We have here... At this nation's worship tonight, 35 nations that have come 
to worship the Lord together with us. Nations, 35 nations. Are you just looking like that? All the hands of stand up on your feet and let's be the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. The shout of praise. It is nations worship indeed. Yes. Very soon we shall have 55 nations. Very soon nations. we shall have a hundred nations. Yes, yes, a hundred and fifty yes. nations. Yes, yes, Two hundred yes, yes. nations. Yes, 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 yes. Tell us the nations. Please be seated. Please be seated. We have people that are coming here from Angola. Can you celebrate the Lord? There they are. <laughs> he knows we'll call Angola first because it's in alphabetical order. He was already standing before we called Angola. And from Australia. And from Belgium. Please, I didn't say Austria. I said Australia. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. You are traveling from Australia to Nigeria. At least you should spend a minimum of two or three days. 24 hours. Maybe. Well, 24 hours, depending on your connecting flights and so on and so forth. Some of the flights are almost 18 hours in the air at a stretch. And they have come to worship the Lord with us. Celebrate the King of Kings. We have you from Belgium, from Benin Republic. Celebrate the Lord from Botswana, from Cameroon, from Canada, from Equatorial Guinea, from Finland, from France, from Gabon, from Germany, from Ghana, from Guinea Conakry, from Iraq. Hallelujah! The earth is being covered with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord. From Iraq here tonight, you are going back with that power and that anointing in this place into that land and into the Middle East in the name of Jesus Christ. From Ireland, from Italy, from Ivory Coast, from Kenya, from Liberia. Are you just sitting and looking like that? From somewhere that have, they haven't joined us before, from Mozambique, from Namibia, from Niger Republic, from Romania, from Sierra Leone, from South Africa, Okay, Romania just stood up there now. From Spain, from Sweden, from the Netherlands, from Togo, from Turkey, from the United Kingdom, from the United States of America. <laughs> Hallelujah. From Zambia and from Zimbabwe. Are you excited here today? Father, we have come here. Nations have come to worship before you. And we ask that you receive our worship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We have also a good number of pastors from all over the world that are here with us today. Many of the sons of the prophets, many of those that submit under the commission, many gentlemen and women of God that God has been using in mighty ways in their various locations. Please, can you stand up? Let's see you from recognition. All of you, I didn't come with your names, but I see all of you there. Pastor Charles, Pastor Trinity, Pastor... Everybody, please stand up on your feet, Pastor. Pastor Godwin, all of you that have come from all over the place, we want to celebrate you. Uh, we want you to know that your connection to this assembly is an extension of the mighty hand of God that is at work in this place. And we celebrate you. Please, you may be seated in Jesus' name. You're highly welcome. We're happy to have you. And then we have our dunamis pastors from all over the world. Can you stand up on your feet? Are you seeing that army of people? The devil is in trouble. Can you shout, pastors and their wives? Uh -uh. Praise the Lord. You are all welcome. We celebrate you and we want, to know, we want you to know that we love you and we're happy for what God is doing to you, through you, and with you. Please, you may be comfortably seated. Hallelujah. We have a number of dignitaries, the commissioner for sports, the commissioner for... 
Tell me again. Housing. Housing. From, from, uh, from um, Cross, River, River. Cross River State here. I think the, 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 you're welcome, Ma. You're welcome, Ma. Uh, and uh, some of the other commissioners, past commissioners, I saw um, um, Barry Stiloka here and some other people. Praise the Lord. Um, the first lady of Taraba State had indicated that she was going to be here. I don't know if she's here. She likes to sit at the back. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Let's celebrate God and you are all welcome. We love you and we know that your states, your nations shall not remain the same in the name of Jesus. And then can you help me welcome yourself? Very important personality. You know what they call VIP. Very important personality. You're welcome in the name of Jesus Christ. We'll be going further. Uh, we should have taken the offering right now. Uh, but we'll be receiving the ministry of Dunamis Voice. They'll be taking us further in the service. And then um, the rest of the worship and wonders night will continue after that. You have an offering. You can just lift it up. I didn't come out with mine. Father, we ask that you receive this of our hands. We ask that your name be glorified. Father, thank you for what you have given to us. Thank you. We have brought a portion of it to you. Receive it of our hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's cast this offering with excitement as we receive the ministry of Dunamis Voice. There will be ministry a medley of songs. Songs that have been received and written by God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. As a singer and minister, I believe you'll be blessed in Jesus' name. I'd like us all to understand that the people, the crowd you see here today, inside, outside, everywhere, is a tiny fragment of the crowd that is worshipping tonight. So can you show us the clips from the, around the world, both within Nigeria, outside Nigeria? You can show us also closer shots of the that's Manchester right down there, all the way. Liberia, Zambia, just everywhere. You can give us closer shots of them. And in most of those places, the crowd is overflow crowd as well. It's outside. People are sitting all the way outside. Media, I think you'll do the work better. Can give us closer shots of like four, four, five, five, four, six, six per screen. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. I'm sure while the choir is on, you can also show us that.
all good.
Established, oh, ancient of days, your years of no end, Lord, O King of all kings. So we lay our crowns down before your feet, Lord. You are all the glory. Your years have no end. Okay. Of all king. So we lay our crown down. Hey! Before your feet, Lord. You are on the glory. In heaven and earth. the glory in heaven and earth your throne is established hey! ancient of days 
ancient of days. Your years have no end. It has no end, Lord. O King of all kings. So we lay, so we lay, so we lay a crown. We lay, we lay. So we lay, we lay, we lay, we lay. Ma shaba da gala. He tote le bedi adaya. He tote le tede ya 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 ba husara. He da ba da ya 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 ba husari. He da ya di gala ya ya husaru da dora. He ta sa de de ya gaga da gala ya da da. So we lay, we lay, we lay, we lay.
need to worry. There is no need to fear. Sure. Because Lord, you are here. Lord, you are here. Lord, you are here. Lord, you are here. Hey! When you are there, any day you are there. When you are there, when you are there, we are here. Because you are here, we are here, Lord. Because you are here, there will be no need to be here if you are not here. Lord, we are here because you are here. We are here. Paul's right here. Lord, we are here. Because you are here. Lord, we are here. Because you are here. And as you are here, we are here. Because you are here, we are touched. We are touched. Lift your two hands everywhere you are. Fire, God. To be fire, God. To 
let it flow. Oh, consuming fire, God. Hey, hey, we have come before your throne to be fired up, fired up, oh God. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, 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 flow. On the day of Pentecost, when tongues of fire came down, tongues of fire fall on me, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, hey! Let that fire from the throne, hey! Let it flow, oh! Let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow, let that fire Fire from the throne. Let it flow. Take your seats in the presence of the Lord. Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 and 8 very very quickly that's right fire is burning everywhere flow 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 let it flow of David that opens and no man shuts. I see the flow of the fire of the move of God everywhere. Please in the balcony overflow ensure that the people are having the screens and everything. It's a night you will never you will never forget. Revelation chapter 3 verse 7 and 8 And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia write, This thing saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man openeth. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and thou hast not denied my name. The key of David is our subject tonight. Number one, the, the, our objective tonight, very sharply, within ten minutes, is understanding the key of praise. Two, understanding the doors that praise opens. 
and three understanding the kind of praise that opens doors understanding the key of praise understanding the door that praise opens and understanding the kind of praise that opens doors David had a key that key was called the key of David David was a candidate of, of diverse open doors he had more open doors practically in the Old Testament than any other person Moses and Elijah had signs and wonders raw but David had open doors like no other and those doors were tied to the key he had called the key of David, the key of praise. Question is, what are the doors that praise opens? What doors did praise open for David? Number one, the door of the palace. He effortlessly found himself in the palace without sweat at the frequency of praise. In 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 17, 18. Number two, the door of power. David had power. Spiritually, he had power. Physically, power enough to collapse Goliath. First Samuel 17, 34 all the way to 50, you see David in the door of power. 466 battles, he lost none. Number three, the door of potentials. Every gift in David was released. He was a priest, a prophet, a king, a psalmist, a giant killer, a lion killer, a people developer, a military general, a strategist, songwriter, instrumentalist, inventor of music equipment. Anything that was available, David was in. The door of potentials. Acts 13:36. Said he served this generation. He served this generation fully by the will of God. That is, he downloaded everything he brought to the earth. The door of the palace, the door of power, the door of potentials. Number four, the door of provision. In fact, you can call it the door of prosperity. David was the man, you see, the wealth of David, of Solomon was so massive that at times we are tempted to forget the wealth of David. But David prepared wealth before Solomon built the temple. First Chronicles chapter 29, verse 1 all the way to verse 5. He gathered wealth in abundance. David was the one that has zero lack. Everything was in excess. The door of provision. Step into that number, number, number six. The door of the prison. David was literally imprisoned in the wilderness. Nobody remembered him. But praise, worship brought him out. First Samuel chapter 16 and in verse 12 he was brought out of the prison. They sent and brought him. Acts chapter 16 verse 25 and 26 Paul and Silas were in the prison and they praised. Prison doors opened and they were out. The door of the prison bows for the key of praise. Number six, 
the door of progress. Capacity to, to, be, to be delivered from stagnation. Existence on the same spot. Again, 1 Samuel 16 and in verse 12 and then verse 17 we saw how David shifted forward by that key. And then Acts 16 verse 25 and 26 these people that were quarantined in the prison were released to go forward by the same key of praise. Number seven is the door of purpose. Your worship, your praise connects you to your purpose in life. It ushers you to your purpose in destiny. The door of purpose. Hallelujah. Today, someone seated here. No devil shall deprive you of your purpose. No force from hell shall deprive you of your purpose. We read that already in Acts chapter 13 verse 36. David could, could fulfill his purpose before he slept with his fathers. Worship was a major tool that made David fulfill his purpose before he slept. Question is, what kind of praise opens doors? Number one, there are many secrets of the praise that will open the, open the doors. But the first is, that I'll mention here is consecrated praise. Praise that is coming in the beauty of holiness. Call it untainted praise, uncorrupted praise. Worship him in the beauty of holiness, not in the ugliness of iniquity. Psalm 29 verse 2. Number 2. Unconditional praise. The kind of praise you, you are not you are not you are not consulting your situation before you worship. These people had very terrible situation in the prison. They had beaten them, their backs were bleeding. Acts chapter 16, verse 20, 25 and 26. If they were to look at their condition, they wouldn't have praised. But they despised their situation to release their praise. Unconditional praise. And number three, unrestricted. The kind of praise where you are not aware of who is near you. And whoever is by your side does not matter. The Bible said they praised, they sang, and the prisoners heard them. Unashamed praise. Praise with abandonment. Worship God with, and you don't care whose ox is God. And who does not feel comfortable with your worship does not matter. I want us to do this practically tonight. And I believe. The Lord will help us. In a short while, I'll give an altar call in the middle. When that call is made, I call on you to make up your mind to surrender completely to Jesus. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. And pray this prayer after me. Say, Father, I've come before you today to surrender my life to you. I ask, Lord, that you have your way in my life. Fulfill your purpose in my life. I ask that today will mark a turning point in my life. Thank you, Lord, 
Thank you, Master, for hearing me. In Jesus' precious name. Lift, keep your hands lifted up. Everywhere you are in this assembly and in all the assemblies around the world, all the way to Zambia, to London, England, to US, to Canada, everyone connected right now. You are saying to me, Pastor, I just heard the preaching and I want to surrender myself to Jesus. I want my sins forgiven. I want today to mark a new day for me. Wherever you are, place your hand on your chest. In surrender to Jesus and pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus. Say it louder. Lord Jesus. Everywhere you are around the world, surrendering your life to Jesus, say it louder. Say, Lord Jesus. I am a sinner in need of your help. Come into my life. Make me a new person. Today, I've decided to follow you, Lord, and no turning back. Forward ever. Backward never. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. You pray that prayer. Wave your hand. Let me see you. Wave it high up. All those who pray the prayer with the hands waved, I saw plenty hands. Can you place the hand on your head wherever you are? Wave your hands everywhere you are. Wave it. Father, thank you for everyone whose hand is lifted. I ask that the hold of the enemy be broken all their lives. I declare today a new day and a new season for you. In the name of Jesus, help from above, mercy from above, grace from above be released for you. I call it done. In Jesus precious name I'm going to call everyone who prayed the prayer shortly just in a moment but can you wave your hand again you pray that prayer with me just now wave it high up wave it wave it wave it all right let's do it like this on your touch light in all the locations I can see all of them on the screen on your touch light those who pray that prayer just those who pray the prayer with me those who pray that prayer surrender with me on your phone light, those who pray that prayer with me. And just wave it. If light has come your way, light has come into your life. All those who pray that prayer on, on the galleries. I'm not seeing them. Those who pray the prayer of surrender on the second gallery. That's right. And then, uh, and then all, uh, all over the, the, the airwaves. All right. And then the overflows. I'm going to call you shortly and then pray with you. If we do it now, we may not have where to take you to, but in a short while, I'll call you. God bless you. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody say aloud, Amen. Somebody say the Lord most amen. Official hashtag for the nation's worship is hashtag nation's worship 2024 on all social media platforms. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. And you can, if, if, if you wish, you might bring it up, bring your phones out and just quickly um, hashtag it to your friends and loved ones or whatever, however you are going to do it and get that done very, very shortly. Right there, hashtag Nations Worship 2024 on all social media platforms. Um, our guest ministers and all that, everyone is here tonight. Our focus and target, give the Lord a praise. Our focus and target is to so minister until doors are opened. In a short while, I'll be telling you about when we step into the midnight prayers, I'll be telling you why tonight. It's very, very important. I believe that it's a new day. Somebody say a loud amen. I declare to somebody tonight, by the reason of your worship and praise, are you ready for this? The door of the palace shall be open to your life. The door of power shall be open for your life. The door of potential shall be open for you. The door of provision shall be opened for you. Every prison where the devil has kept you and your family, 
the prison door is opening and you are coming out. The door of purpose is of progress is opening and you are going forward. Stagnation is destroyed now. Grace for consecrated praise. Grace for unrest, un unconditional praise. Grace for unrestricted praise shall be your portion. We are going to start the lineup anytime, anywhere 1130 meets us. We'll commence with the midnight prayer and after the midnight prayer we'll continue until the devil checks back to hell. Somebody say a loud amen. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout of praise. Shake the hands of three people around you and tell them get ready the doors are opening for you. You may please be seated. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Please let me tell your neighbor, God is about to visit you tonight. To take us further tonight in the worship of the God of our kingdom and the governor, of all, the governor among all nations, we have Owe Abutu. Prosper Ochimana, Judy K, and Dusin Oyekon. With Jesus' joy, let's give the Lord a clap offering as we receive Owe Abutu, and they'll come in that order. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that the Lamb could rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. Wonderful, merciful Savior, precious Redeemer and friend, who would have thought that the Lamb could rescue the souls of men? Oh, you rescue the souls of men. You are the one that we pray. You are the one we adore. You get the healing and the grace of heart always hunger for. Oh, our hearts always hunger. You are.
Wave your hands in worship.
precious Holy Spirit, and out of my belly shall flow. Rivers, rivers of living water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let it flow, let it flow. Hey. Let it flow, let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. Oh, let it flow. commanding the day midnight prayers very very critical that we stepped into this prayer session under this climate blanketing the globe testimonies from everywhere around the world wake your friends up your neighbors and your loved ones some of you are here in person for commanding the day midnight prayers and this day shall be commanded lift your hands Lift your hands and give God the praise. Master, we thank you. We give you the praise. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. In Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3, they call unto me, and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. God has been hearing our prayers and answering us every night through the commanding the day midnight prayer lift your hands to heaven and say father thank you for hearing us every night thank you for showing great and mighty things every night unto us be glorified in the name of jesus lift the voice and talk to god master we give you the praise we thank you father this is another night and we are grateful for what you are yet to do thank you for all the testimonies thank you for the miracles the signs and wonders we give you all the praise we give you all the glory and tonight we ask oh god that you will visit us again Again, specifically an individual in Jesus precious name amen give the Lord a big clap offering if you believe God had you and answered you and right now we shall step into God's presence with praise and I'd like you to put your hands as you receive the praise team hallelujah can we make that hell bigger and better unto our God somebody give him a shout yeah.
be seated. Once again, call somebody, wake somebody, commanding the day is in progress. 
We'll be taking some testimony. I started joining the prayers on the 5th of January, although before then, I do watch the regular broadcast within the day. I visited my family for the festive season, and I noticed when, I noticed we had a lot of war geckos in the house. Physically, it was irritating to me. They were so much that they were bored like the house owners. I asked my mom and she said, and she was like, she doesn't know how they have become so much. She said, we could mix rice and sniper for them. I was like, how many snipers are we going to get? Get. I decided, I decided to table their matter before my God at this miraculous altar on the tent. Hey, just like, not magic, miracle. It worked. I could no longer see them. And I feel free. My mom also testified. She asked me what I did. I told her I prayed about it at midnight. Secondly, my elder sister and my uncle had dreams of my dad being dead. Somebody shall fire. My mom called me and told me to take the matter up at midnight too. Which I did. My dad is about getting a federal government appointment which will open doors for us. On, 20, on 25th slash, on 24th slash 25th, I prayed angrily. I called him by his name that we will not die at the edge of his breakthrough. And we will not mourn again at our edge of breakthrough. I lost my aunt on the 3rd of January, who we buried just 20, on the 20th. I said it will not happen. Not this year again. Boom. Senior pastor mentioned my case. He said, people have been telling you of recurring dreams about death, grave, and mourning. That the last that happened was the last forever. I screamed amen for my dad and I believed. Because what he says to one, he says to all. I am also trusting God for a life partner and my marital settlement this year. Thank you for availing yourself to be used by God to bless us. May the oil on your head never run dry. Thank you, commanding the dead crew, for your faithful service to God and humanity. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> Testimony from Mrs. <sighs> Mie Kuma from Portacourt. Good morning, commanding the dead team. My friend, sister Vera Duse has been sending me the link since last year, and I did, and I did not log in. My friend, Mercy Duse, chatted me up and said, Babe, babe, they follow the prayers. People are testifying. This year, on the 4th of January, I logged in, and I started following it up. On the 19th slash 20th, God's servant mentioned my case. There is someone with a name that starts with M. You are healed of hyperpolatinemia. Thank you, sir. My prolatine level is 859, hey. according to the hospital. But me, I don't believe their report. But to the glory of God, in the midst of it all, I tested positive today for pregnancy. Hey. Let the fire continue to burn on this prayer altar above only. Clip attached. Hyperprolatinemia is contraceptive. That is, it prevents pregnancy. Uh, polycystic ovary syndrome, hyperprolatinemia, in the name of a person that starts with an M. I declare your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Hey! Hey! Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. Hyperprolactinemia arrested by the power of God. Pregnancy was instant. Whatever be the embargo the devil placed on your life, today it is lifted in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 
Still taking a few more testimonies. Please, we'd like you to wake somebody up and give them a call. Send them an SMS or rather the link. Send them data where you can and the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Testimony, Mrs. Chingwendu from Abuja. Good morning to you, Sanma. I have come to return all glory to the prayer answering God on this dynamis altar. I have been married for five years now and still trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Last year, August, I started seeing a new gynecologist and he listed a series of tests for me to carry out, which I did, and the results came out with high prolactin level of 25.4. And I was placed on treatment to reduce the level. After the treatment, I went back on the 17th of November, 2023, to carry out same test. And it came out that the prolactin level had increased to 53.4 instead of reducing. I was so devastated. I came home and cried my eyes out. While I was still crying, a friend of mine sent me a message on WhatsApp inviting me to join the Commanding the Day prayers. And I joined that very night. And I felt like a heavy weight had been lifted from me. While I was on a new treatment, I kept connecting to the Commanding the Day prayers every day and asking God to balance my prolactin level. On a faithful day after the personal supplication, God's servant was making declarations. And he declared that every hormonal disorder, hyperprolactinemia, stopping your conception is set on fire. I claimed it. After another treatment for two months, I went back for the same test on the 16th of January, 2024. And to the glory of God, the prolactin level became 4.3. And doctor looked at me and said, how did it happen? I smiled and said, it is God. Thank you, sir and ma, for being a blessing to me and many others. My next testimony will be my divine conception in Jesus' name. Say, and it amen. is done in Jesus' name. Amen. Testimony from Sister Elsie from Zambia. Above only, I want to thank God for his goodness in my life. Before joining the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer in January this year, I was only following Seeds of Destiny by Dr. Mrs. Becky and Nancy on YouTube. And I've been blessed so much. On 23rd of January, 2024, our father, Dr. Paul Enenche, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, made mighty declarations to say, those waiting for jobs, get ready to receive your appointment letters within 24 hours. And I shouted amen the same day around 11, 10, 11, 22 a.m. 10, 22. Beg your pardon. 10, 22 a.m. I was called to get my appointment letter for a job. I applied twice without positive result. Thank you, sir and ma, for great calling. May the great God continue to bless you abundantly. Amen. Picture is attached. Office of the President in Zambia. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout. Are you just looking like that? Somebody who believes a 24 hour miracle is happening to you. Give him the shout of praise. Get set under another 24 hours. You shall be the one to testify. Hallelujah. Amen. Give him the praise. Mrs. PJ in Port Harcourt. Good morning to all the Commanding the Day Midnight Prayer family worldwide. I have come to appreciate this great God. Yesterday night, while waiting for the prayer time, I slept off. I woke up at about 1.33 a.m. and was so angry in my spirit, so I decided to watch the broadcast within with my husband. I told my husband how God has been helping me partake in the 21 days fast without any ulcer pain. I have just been enjoying myself. The devil heard and wanted to pull some stunt. Immediately, the senior pastor started the prayer session. I felt severe ulcer pain. It has never happened to me like this before. I tried to take a sitting position, but it became even worse, radiating to my, to my chest, my back, and my head. Very severe as if I wanted to explode. I didn't alert my husband because I didn't want him to worry so i started praying in my spirit because at that point i couldn't open my mouth to pray the pain was excruciating after prayer number three bam 
my word came. From God through his mouthpiece, Dr. Pastor Paul and Angel, I, and I quote, that person with, that person that is battling with ulcer as I speak right now, you are battling with ulcer. Chest pain is worrying you right now. As I am leading this prayer point, I declare it is arrested and retrieved back to hell in the name of Jesus. I keyed into it and said, Amen. Eh? Hey, my God, who knows the end from the beginning, handled my case even before it arrived. Ah, I felt alive, strengthened, like baby whose father has come to beat the person looking for her trouble. Then I said to that demonic ulcer pain with authority, did you hear that? My father in heaven has spoken. Get out. And the pain checked back to hell. I was able to finish the prayer with joy. Woke up this morning pain free till eternity. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, sir and ma, for answering the call of God. Obeying the instructions or the instruction of starting this commanding the day midnight prayer. Thank to all the crew members. May God uphold you and give you all it takes to carry on in Jesus' name. The video of that declaration is attached. It is arrested and retrieved back to hell in the name of Jesus. Stand on your feet and let's celebrate the King of Kings one minute. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Almighty, oh, mighty God. 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 Almighty oh, God. You do what you say. Whatever you want, Almighty God. You do what you say. seated everywhere you are watching those of us right here in the worship and wonders night you may be seated share the link if you have data if you have any um you, if you can do that on your phone right now the hashtags ICT can we have the hashtags for tonight you can share that and then you can also wake your friends wake your neighbors just dial call them wake them and then switch off your phone praise the Lord let's take ICT can we have the hashtags please I think there's just one. Hashtag Nations Worship 2024. Yeah. Hashtag Nations Worship 2024. On all the social media handles and platforms. Praise God. All right. Let's go. We'll take a few more testimonies. Brother M.A. from Abuja says, Good day, commanding the day midnight prayer team and the entire Dunamis family worldwide. He's into... Mechanize, mechanization. mechanization service business. He supplies agricultural equipment and he is managing a fleet of 12 tractors. Last year was very tough in business. Throughout the rainy season, no week passed without heavy maintenance and repairs. They even had to do a complete engine overhaul on some tractors. There was even a tractor they packed at the end of the season in 2022 only to come back to past staring issues at the beginning of the rainy season last year even though their fleet grew by 200 percent in 2023 they didn't experience commensurate growth in revenue compared to the previous year but on the 20th of january 2024 his word came for that business and it came at a time where he was concerned and worried about how 2024 was going to be but now he believes that it's a new day 
for that business. They shall see and declare the goodness of the Lord from now henceforth. We are coming, we are going above only in 2024. Thank you, Pastors Paul and Becky and Enche, for taking heed to the instruction of God concerning the commanding the day midnight prayers. His prayer life has taken a new dimension since he started joining the prayer sessions daily. So many good things are happening in his life right now, and he'll be sharing more testimonies in due course. Clip of the prophecy attached. Heavy duty machines, and now the devil is frustrating it. I'm frustrating it, getting grounded and grounded and grounded. Let a feed and a I declare today the yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. The yoke is broken. Your equipment, everyone here that has anything to do with equipment and machinery, the broke a little. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Sister Brenda in the UK says, Good morning, my father and mother in the Lord and all the commanding day midnight prayer crew. Allah, 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 Allah. Hey, there is fire on this altar. How many of you believe that? She had been following the midnight prayer from day one, and on Friday, the 19th of January, was her own day. Today is somebody's day. How many of you believe that? Today is somebody's day. Say, Today is my day in the name of Jesus. And on Friday the 19th was her own day. The senior pastor mentioned her name with accuracy and precision. He said, Brenda, you are trusting God for marriage or fruit of the womb. Whatever be the case, the period of waiting is over. She jumped up with a shout of joy. Sir, she has five siblings who are all ripe for marriage. The eldest got married 12 years ago. And since then, none of them has been able to get married. Her wedding was planned and scheduled for this December 2023. She traveled home, but it was postponed. She kept on praying and trusting God for deliverance from this marital spell until last night that God remembered her and her family. Thank you, Jesus, for my case. And that of my siblings is settled forever. Thank you, Sir and Ma, for the sacrifices that you make for the world. Your cup will never run dry. Clip attached. The start from the beginning. 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 I see to you usually do better than this. What's happening? Clip and sound. Video. It says that your season of waiting is over. Whether it's waiting to be married or waiting for the fruit of the womb, whatever the wait period is, it is over. And I speak to everyone connected here tonight. We didn't hear the name. Is there any anxiety problem? Be like a Brenda. Yes, Brenda. He can let it He says that your season of waiting is over. Hey! Whether it's waiting to be married or waiting for the fruit of the womb, whatever the wait period is, it is over. And I speak to everyone connected here tonight. Hallelujah. Everyone who is in the waiting season, I prophesy to you, that season of waiting is over. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Amen. If you are say my season of waiting is over. My season of waiting is over. Go on ahead. Next testimony, Sister Blessing in Kaduna says, Good evening, son, man, the entire commanding the day, midnight crew. Praise the Lord. She's come to testify to the goodness and the almightiness of God in her life. She used to experience demonic manipulations at night when she sleeps. She would wake up and see herself in a totally different position that she could not have turned to by herself. This happened consistently for two days. The senior pastor mentioned her case on the 23rd of this month, and he declared that manipulation, manipulation devil is arrested and returned back to hell. She screamed a loud amen. He also mentioned that the name of the person he was talking about had an E and an L. She knew that was her word and she claimed it. Glory be to God, from that day till eternity, that evil occurrence has ended in her life and she has come to say, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Sanma, and the midnight prayer crew for your sacrifices. May the Lord... That is, if she slept... When she wakes up, her head will be where her leg was, and her leg will be in the opposite position. She will be torn before the daybreak.
you woke, you, when you woke up in the morning, you saw that your leg is where the pillow is and your head is down. There was no way you could have turned yourself like that. It is not once it's consistent. You found yourself on the, you slept on the bed, but you woke up and found yourself on the floor. That devil is a bastard. That devil is a bastard. Hey! Hey! The person I'm talking about, there are many people in this case, but there's one E and L that is inside that name. I declare today that manipulation devil is arrested and returned back to hell. Hey! Every devil that is manipulating your life, the season of manipulation is over. If you are saying them and shout it like a believer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Another testimony minister, Anthony from Abuja says, the 25th of January, 2024, commanding the day midnight prayer was for himself and his father's children. They have two, he has two brothers, both graduates and both insane, mad. The elder brother mad for 19 years. That's since two, 2005. This defiled all medications. The younger brother mad for five years now. He started in 2019. Another younger brother had an accident two years ago on his return from the drug law agency interview. The job which was later shortlisted for training but was not accepted to the training camp because of the broken knee condition that was witchcraftly, probably witchcraftly manipulated. His two insane brothers go into the streets begging. Both addicted to local snuff, one smoking and both drinking. And all his three brothers became liabilities. All these are responsibilities leading to borrowing and distractions. But he told the Lord that this can't continue in his father's family because it will affect his boldness in kingdom service as a minister. He then asked the Lord to show him the hidden secrets behind all these confrontations. First, he saw in the dream himself fighting with a personality, demanding for the release of his elder brother. The personality turned into a dog and he tore the dog into pieces. Hallelujah. Second, in a dream, someone called him on phone in that dream and told him, the problem of your father's children is from your mother's father's side, who is a great grandmaster. He shared these dreams with his resident pastor, who confirmed that God is said to do what only he can do. The light of God has finally shone on his family. Obe is the surname of the family. God spoke through the senior pastor, on the 25th of January, 2024, commanding the day midnight prayers. He said, O-G-B-E. Wow. How many of you remember that? You know, I didn't even put the letters together to form a word. I just knew he was calling letters. But it was accurate. Look at that. He said, O-G-B-E. Ancestral altars. Family house altar agenda influence of family house altar, altar is broken. Wow. He also destroyed the evil power of liability, begging and borrowing. He has come to give God all the praise and glory because this is God's direct word and he believes the word must manifest. It's a turnaround, accurate, prophetic word of deliverance and restoration for the always. He is not taking this for granted. Greater grace, sir, more exploits, San Ma. Declaration video attached.
my God. Oh, wow. Help me give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. What a mighty God we serve. Accuracy of word, accuracy of prophetic declaration, yours is coming tonight. The two brothers are begging on the road as mad people. Yes. I announce to somebody here today, every father's house altar that is fighting your destiny, fighting your family, today, the power of that altar is broken. Amen. The altar is set on fire. Amen. Set on fire. Amen. You are saying to me, shout the Lord, say amen. Amen. And all those people are set free. Next thing we heard from you is that the place has been dropped. Because when God reveals, he reverses. Give the Lord the praise and take your sin. Amen. Hallelujah. The plates dropped and the madness gone. Yes. One more testimony. Let's take Mrs. Mercy A from FCT. Says, Ola, 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 the God of Dunamis is indeed a God of wonders. Her husband was sleeping on the 7th of January, and God used the face of God's servant, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche, told her husband to wake up and connect that he has a message for them. Wow. Did you hear that? Wow. <laughs> Wife, husband saw a dream, and he saw God's servant saying, tell your wife to wake up. There is a message for them. So the, he woke up and the wife woke up and uh, he woke her up and they connected. Truly, their word came close to the end of the commanding the day midnight prayers through the mouth of our father, Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche. He said, there is someone that is into fashion that is under attack, that the attack is over. And God said, the person should be faithful to God and practice his covenant and that he will receive mercy and intervention. Sister Mercy shouted amen and felt peace. Year 2023 was the worst year for her business. She has a fashion academy that was limited, stagnated due to the attack of the enemies. But God changed their stories after this word of prophecy and indeed they received mercy and divine intervention before this word came on the 7th, only one person had come to enroll for the class that was to start on the 8th. Hmm. But after this word, sir, people started trooping in. Hey! <laughs> to make inquiries and make payments for their classes. For the first time, they are having two sets in a batch for beginner's class. January class is filled up. And February class is being paid for already. Under 24 hours. Hey! Somebody help me give Jesus a big clap and a shout of praise. Senior pastor also declared on the 31st crossover night that what we saw or had in 2023, that we will see double of it this January. Hallelujah! She has seen hers already. The students they have, they have just this January batch alone are uh, more than what they had throughout 2023. 2023. That is all the 12 months of 2023 did not generate as many students as they have in only January. Thank you so much, my father and mother in the Lord for making yourselves available to be used by God for our generation. She's faithful to God in her covenant practice now, sir. She hates to owe God now. Now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And that is a word for somebody as well in the name of Jesus. Let's see the clip. This is what I said to one. I said to all, receive it for yourself. Somebody dealing with fashion, with clothing, like a chooks or something. I prophesy upon you today that the, your, the, your business is under attack. I prophesy, and everybody in that category, I prophesy upon you today, the attack is over. And the Lord said, I should ask you to be faithful to him and practice the covenant. And you will see mercy and see intervention. Be faithful to God and practice the covenant of supernatural supplies. And you will see result. Blessed be your name. 
Honor to your name. Adoration to your name. Add honor to your name. Wave your hands and give. Wake your wife up. I have a message for her. There is a message for her tonight. She woke up, got the message, life turned around. Look at your neighbor and say, wake up. There is something for you tonight. Stand up in celebration one minute. Under 24, less than 24. Celebration. Less than 24. Clap and a shout of praise. We have the commanding the day midnight prayers every night, every single night. And we have the worship and nations worship once every year. And the two are colliding tonight. Get ready for double miracles. Wake somebody up tonight. Wake somebody up tonight. Right where they are. John chapter 3 verse 16. The Bible said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John chapter 1, 1 John chapter 3 verse 1a. He said, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed upon us that we should be called the sons of God. Lamentation chapter 3 verse 22 to 23. He said, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Lift your voice in prayer and say, Father. Father. Louder, say, Father. Father. Louder. Father. This mic this mics must work. Father. 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 Thank you. Thank you. For your love. For your love. That, made you that made you to send your son into, into the world. To die, for me. to die for me. Thank you, Thank you. for the law that made you, that made you to, call to call us your own. Your own. Thank, you Thank you for your law that, that keeps us alive. alive. Be, glorified. Be glorified, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Pray. Thank you for your law. Pray. 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 I need more, more feedback on this, on this mic. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Psalm 103 verse 7. He made known his ways unto Moses, his acts to the children of Israel. We are privileged to be the partaker of both his ways and his acts. He's showing us his word and showing us his might. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for your numerous, for your numerous acts, acts of salvation, of salvation deliverance, deliverance, breakthrough, breakthrough transformation, transformation, and revival. revival. Thank, you, Lord, thank you, Lord, for showing us showing both your ways your and, your and your acts. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, thank you for your numerous acts of salvation. 
deliverance, breakthrough, transformation, and revival. Thank you, Lord, for showing us both your ways and your acts. Be glorified, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Father, thank you. Thank you for your numerous acts of salvation. Deliverance, breakthrough, transformation, revival. Thank you, Lord, for showing us both your ways and your acts. Be glorified, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. The Lord has answered, heard and answered us in Jesus' name. John chapter 5 verse 17 he said but Jesus answered them my father walketh it at all that is my father is at work till now and I walk Isaiah 43 and in verse 13 he said yeah before the day was I am here and there is none that can deliver out of my hand I will walk and who can hinder it I announce to you today what God is about to do in your life tonight no devil shall hinder it in the name of amen. Jesus. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Amen. And first John chapter 3, verse 8, B part, he said, He that committed sinners of the devil, for the devil sinned from the beginning. For this purpose was the Son of Man manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whatever is the work and the agenda of the devil in your life tonight, it shall be destroyed. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father. Thank you, Thank you for walking, for walking tirelessly, tirelessly effortlessly, effortlessly, and durably in our midst. Say, Father, Father thank, you thank you for walking, for walking tirelessly, tirelessly, effortlessly, effortlessly and, durably and durably in our midst. We bring into instant defeat and failure every agenda devised of the enemy to undermine, antagonize, or counteract your works in our midst we bring them into defeat now in the name of Jesus say father we bring into defeat and failure instantly every agenda device of the enemy to undermine antagonize or counteract your wars in our midst in our lives we bring them into defeat now open your mouth and pray Father, thank you for working tirelessly, effortlessly, durably in our midst. We bring you to instant defeat and failure. Every agenda and device of the enemy to undermine, to antagonize, to counteract your works in our midst now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Psalm 92 and in verse 4. He said, for thou, Lord. Now, if you hear any passage that you like and you think it applies to you, you receive it with the thunderous most amen. He said, for thou, Lord, has made me glad amen. through thy work. Amen. God will do something before the daybreak in your life amen. that will make you glad. Amen. I will triumph amen. in the works of thy hands. Amen. Today is the day of your triumph. Amen. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and in verse 14. He said, Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and make it manifest the savour of his knowledge by us in every place. Lift your voice with audacity and say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day. In, dominion. in dominion. When I when you say step, you just take a step. If, if there is a little space. Even if there's no space, just move a little. Say, Father, Father I, step I step into this new day, this new day. In, dominion, in dominion, in authority, in, authority, in, power, in power, in victory, in, victory, in, triumph, in triumph over the works, over the works and the activities, the activities of, the of the enemy. Today, 
in the name of Jesus. Again, say, Father, I step into this new day in dominion, in authority, in power, in victory, and triumph over the works and the activities of the enemy today, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. I step. Jesus precious name something is going to happen today and you will testify later God is finally about to answer your adversaries is finally above is finally about to answer everyone who is saying where is your God those who have gone diabolical regarding your destiny you shall return back with the testimony of their judgment and vengeance Amen. i didn't ask you to stop the timing deuteronomy chapter 32 and in verse 35 he said to me belongeth vengeance and recompense their foot shall slide in due time Amen. For the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that, are, that shall come upon them make haste. There is something coming upon the wicked in a hurry. There is something coming upon the wicked in a hurry. There is calamity coming upon the unrepentant in a hurry. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 8. He said, for it is the day of the Lord's vengeance and the year of recompense is for what? For the controversy of Zion. Anything that is a contradiction in your life that the devil has a hand in, that devil shall pay for it tonight. Everything that is a contradiction. Why am I going to church and my life is still like this? Why am I serving God and my life is still like this? Everything that is a controversy, a contradiction around your life, and the devil has a hand in it, and the witches and the wizards have a hand in it, they will pay for it tonight. Amen. Lift your voice, pray after me and say, Father, I declare this new day a day of vengeance and judgment for the adversaries of the Lord, the adversaries of my life, the adversaries of my destiny, the calamity of the unrepentant wicked shall proceed speedily today. Anybody organizing death for you, Anybody, because we are in the days where they organize it. Organizing kidnappers, organizing killers, organizing. What they are organizing for you, they shall inherit what they are organizing. What they are organizing for your life. Amen. Amen. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father I, declare I declare this new day, this new day. My, day my day, a day, day. of vengeance and judgment for the adversaries of the Lord. Of my life, of my destiny, the calamity of the unrepentant wicked shall proceed speedily today in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray. Jesus precious name 
we shall hear the news of them. Amen. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. He said, according as his divine power has given unto us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and to virtue. Everything that you need for life that will make life possible, that will make godliness possible, he has given them to us. Amen. It's one thing for him to give, it's another thing for us to receive. He has given direction. He has given preservation. He has given provision. He has given restoration. Lift your voice and say, Father, I take full delivery of all that you have in store for me today. All that pertains to life and godliness. Direction, provision, preservation, revelation, restoration. I receive now. Open your mouth and pray. Oh, I take full delivery of all that you have in store for me today. All that pertains to life, all that pertains to godliness, I receive them. I take full delivery of them. I receive them. I take full delivery of them. I receive them. All that pertains to my life, all that pertains to godliness. Let a fete sena gagalagagadaya. Reta sata fena gagalagalala. Rata sata feta ka. Lata se feta kakalagadara. Rato sata fera to kala gadigada. Rato sata feta ka lata tafato. Rato sata feta kakala. In the name of Jesus. Now we are going to ask that the angels will cooperate with nature and creation to cause the world to come to pass. How many of you know that everything have ear to hear God? A woman testified of an object that was entered her ear 35 years ago. After the word came with fire, that object had it and, and, and swam out. It swam. It just it, it began to throb and left the inner, in, inner ear and came out by itself. Metal object blinded the man's eye. You heard that yesterday. He went to the uh, nail. Ophthalmologist could do nothing about it. He was not seen. He was completely blind. They didn't even see where, where it was. After a brutal word, he dropped out of the eye on the bed in his hand. And the eye opened. We took that yesterday. Hola, hola. Metal shall hear, heaven shall hear, earth shall hear. Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 29. He said, Oh, earth, 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 hey! everything about you and around you. Wanted to travel one day. Was it to America? Eh? Yes, sir. Passport disappeared. Dr. Mrs. Becky and Enche searched everywhere. It was nowhere to be found. So she said, I, I don't know where it is. This is this is this is where I normally kept it, and it's as this I, I can't find it. And I said, you know what? Passport, wherever you are, appear. It appeared on the in her front, on right where she couldn't find it. She said, "What? See it." She was so tensed up. I was, I was just, I was just moving and relaxed and packing things and just, I just. She said, at the end, she said she's confused. She said she was worried I was normal, that she was wondering why I was no, so normal. I told her, I said, if I didn't travel that journey, it's because I said I don't want to travel. But not that the passport decided it. <laughs> It just appeared there it was. 
He says, see it. As if wherever it was, he arrived in her front. have a cat in our, in, our, in our place that has become so, it's very close to me now. <laughs> One day I came from church and cat, I went to the cat, they couldn't move. Paralyzed from waist down. Whether it was a vehicle or somebody, something that hit this cat, it was paralyzed waist down. It can't, it can't crawl. He can't drag leg. He's on the same spot. Can't, so they took food to where it was. I looked at it. I was filled with compassion. I carried a bottle of oil and anointed his waist. <laughs> <laughs> Laid hand on the cart. Before you can say praise. Cart is pregnant now. <laughs> anyway, see me. Yeah, yeah. That is how. You have anything more for me? You are the one who saved my life. <laughs> oh, et, et, et. Here. Something is about to hear. Angels are about to walk in concert. Psalm 103 and in verse 20, he said, Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments. Hearkening to the voice of his word. Lift your voice and pray this prayer after me and say, Father, we ask that both nature and creation will cooperate with the angels to cause your words released at this prayer altar to be fulfilled speedily and accurately. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we ask that both nature and creation will cooperate with the angels to cause your words released at this prayer altar to be fulfilled speedily and accurately. Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Amen. Now we are about to pray one of the major reasons why the commanding the day prayer exists. In Matthew chapter 13 verse 25, he said, but while men slept, the enemy sowed tears while men slept. 13, 25, while men slept, Satanic activity heightens when people sleep, both physically and spiritually. That is why occultic things happen majorly in the night. They are initiations majorly in the night. So when we step, step up in the night, we counter their work. Are you ready to counter some satanic works? In Proverbs chapter 10 verse 28, the Bible said, in Proverbs, it said, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall what? Perish. In Job chapter 18 and in verse 5, the Bible says here, yeah, the light of the wicked shall be put out and the spark of his fire. Certain satanic agenda and activities about to be frustrated, arrested tonight to believe that say loud, amen. amen. Look at this very e explosive one in Psalm 106 verse 18. He said, and a fire was kindled in their company and the flame burnt up the wicked. 
Father, let your fire be released in the camp of wickedness. In the camp of satanic agenda, let the fire be released. Lift your voice and say, Father, we decree the failure, frustration, and deletion of the wicked as well as their plans of wickedness in this new day. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, we release the judgment of fire on every evil altar, coven, stronghold, high place, priest, personality, device, or agenda of evil position today to cause harm, hurt, pain, loss, delay, frustration, distraction, destruction, disease, death, evil report, or bad news, all you altars, covens, strongholds, high places, priests, personalities, devices, agenda, we set you on fire now. Open your mouth and pray, set them on fire. We set you on fire. We set them on fire. We set them on fire. Every evil altar, evil coven, stronghold, high place, priest, personality, device, agenda of evil, position today to cause harm, to cause hurt, to cause pain, to cause loss, to cause delay. Frustration, destruction, destruction, disease, death, evil report, bad news. We set you on fire instantly, now, in the name of Jesus. Jesus precious name. You are saying amen, shout the Lord and say amen. amen. Tonight is tied to the key of David and that key opens and no man shuts and shuts and no man opens. How many of you trust God? See the testimony of that woman. The school, the fashion academy they had, 2023 was a desert. 2024 January they had one word. They had registered only one person before that one word came. Less than 24 hours. They have now ha they may now have two batches of January. February batch is already filled up. What they have in January is more than what they had in the whole of 2023 put together. Father, every door closed around my life. By this worship night, title the key of David. Let the doors open. Amen. In Revelation chapter 3 and in verse 8, he said, And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, right? This thing said, He that is holy, he that is true, he that has the key of David, he that openeth and no man shutteth, and shutteth and no man openeth. I know your works. Behold, I have said before you an open door and no devil can close it. No force can close it. No witch can close it. No wizard can close it. If you are saying amen, shout the loudest amen. amen. And Paul and Silas in Acts chapter 16 verse 25. And at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them suddenly there was an earthquake foundations of the prisons were shaken every man's bands were loosed and every door was open not some doors all doors Amen. 
marital doors. Doors of the fruit of the woman. Everywhere they place a visa restriction on your life, that embargo is lifted. I applied to for, for visa in a, in a particular country. They said they need to see me there in person. I said, it is your country that need me. There is nothing I am going to take there. If it will not come to meet me here until I come there, then no need to go. Then it came. The truth is, the visa of all manner of countries have met us on our seat. Are you following what I'm saying here today? He said, Thus said to my servant Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, I will go before you. And the two livered gates shall. There is no gate of any country that will not open if Jehovah goes before you. I don't know who I'm talking to here tonight. But lift your voice and pray this prayer after me and say, Father, Father I, ask, I ask by the authority. Of he that has the key of David, that opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no one opens, that you will open all doors in my life, such that no force of hell can shut. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, by the authority of he that has the key of David, that opens and no man shuts, and shuts and no man opens, I ask, Lord, that you will open all doors in my life such that no force of hell can shut oh lord in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray Jesus, precious name. Amen. The Lord has heard and answered us. You believe that still, Lord, amen. amen. There is a very important prayer I want us to pray. The, the nation's worship, media worship has happened at strategic times and arrested certain things. Yes. There was a time there was a lot of terrorism and in fact, the music ministers, some of them that were invited, we are warned not to come. Because um, they said Abuja was this and that. How many of you remember that? Declarations were made and that thing died. Right now, what, there is a, a, another level of threat in the land. A very, very terrible, wicked threat in the land. Where kidnappers will follow someone to the gate of their estate. In those days, we were thinking of kidnapping of people from the highway. Now from their houses. Man's wife and four or five daughters kidnapped. One killed. And if you are not ready, we'll kill the rest. Money was released before the rest could be released. Oh, what, what, a, what a country. What a degeneration at a nation's capital. We are going to pray. Father, for the sake of the saints, if it is for the sake of the authorities, the land can, be, can just be buried. But for the sake of your people, Answers. 
They showed me a clip. They showed a clip the other day where a captured criminal was threatening the police that was guarding him. Under the man had chain on his hand, handcuff on his hand. At the back of the police, uh, what do you call it? Eh? The policeman. And the policeman, military, mobile police with his gun. You know what he told him, huh? He said, if I come out, I'll look for you. If I come out, I'm coming for you. The policeman said, if you come out, then I am not, I am not, I am not, I am not a, a, in the force. The man said, this is Nigeria. The criminal. He said, this is Nigeria. My men will come and release me. Oh. My people will come and they will come, they will bring me out. They will bring people will bring me and I will look for you. I couldn't believe it. He had the mouth to say, This is Nigeria, which means anything can happen. Which means criminal can be free anytime. The Lord will rescue us from this from this disaster. Where crime is venerated. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 18. He said, Violence shall no more be had in thy land, wasting no destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy wall salvation. Amen. And thy gates praise. Amen. Christmas Eve massacre in Plateau State. They sent us message again two or three days ago from Mangu. How massacre is going on right there. Father, let this scripture, Christmas Eve, let this scripture be fulfilled in our nation. Amen. Not because of our leaders. Not because of the powers or the authority. Not because of security forces. But because of the people you have in this land. God told Abraham, if I see one righteous man in, so in, so in ten righteous people in Sodom, I will, I, will, I will free the land. Lift your voice and say, Father. Father. Say after me, say, violence, violence shall no more be heard no in our land, our land. in Nigeria. Nigeria. Wasting, Wasting, no destruction, destruction. cannot be heard no within our borders. Say, Father, fulfill this scripture in our city, in our cities, and in our nation for the sake of your children, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, fulfill this scripture in our cities and in our nation for the sake of your children, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Jesus precious name. Hold the hand of someone near you. One of us here last 
night, driving and entering the gate of his estate. Some people came. His driver was driving him. They came to open the door to bring him out. He resisted. Next him, bullets were flying from the bush. Bullet holes. He escaped with the skin of his teeth and by the covering that he has. I wish I had the picture. I would have shown it on the screen. Bullet holes. Was that 20, 24 Range Rover or something? They waited for him. They didn't go to the driver's side. They went to his side to, to bring him out. You will never be the victim. We may not all be here together, but tomorrow night, anywhere you are, you can connect still on the command of the day prayer. And let's all get bottles of oil. Pray upon it and let's do a prophetic action in the land. Let's anoint the ground. I heard from Bill Winston. He said there was a time when there was so much gang, gangster oppression in the inner city Chicago. And one of the women in the, in the church came with a bottle of oil. He anointed it and he, she just took the oil and drew a line in the, in, 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 in the street. So from this moment forward, gangs, you have no place in this place. That was in America. Somebody poured oil on the ground. We have done that plenty in Abuja here. And done that at several times. Now our nation will do that, do that again tomorrow. Any city where you are. Mercy Lord. Holy Ghost fire take control. Those who like to kill. Let the killing begin with themselves. Those who like to shed blood. Let the blood shed begin with their own blood. Lift your voice and say, Father, Father we agree together. We agree together that violence and wasting shall no more be heard in our land. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Violence and wasting shall no more be heard in our land. Jesus precious name. Numbers chapter 14 verse 21. And the violence and, and the destruction. We've had a lot of destruction of properties and dis displacement of people. We ask for peace. Amen. Tranquility. Amen. In the land. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Numbers chapter 14 verse 20. As truly as I live. All the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 14. He said for the earth shall be filled. With the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. Lift your hands and your voice and say, Father, we ask that you flood the earth with the knowledge of your glory as the waters cover the seas, leading to the salvation and discipleship of multitudes in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, say, Father, we ask that you flood the earth with the knowledge of your glory as the waters cover the seas, leading to the salvation and discipleship of multitudes in this season. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, open your mouth, flood this earth with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the seas. We ask that you flood the earth with the knowledge of your glory as the waters cover the seas. Flood the earth. Jesus precious name. In a short while, we'll go into personal supplications after one or two more testimonies. But before we do that, 
Let's celebrate God one minute. Lift your hands and thank him for answer the prayers. Just one minute, one minute. Celebrations. Let's go. The Lord has the key of David. Let's take that and step into the open doors. Give the Lord a praise. Celebration. The Lord has the key of David. He opens the as you take your seat in the presence of the Lord. Please don't let anything distract you. A couple more testimonies, personal supplication, and then we'll continue with our lineup. Let's go. Adedayo in Asia. Good morning above all the surnamed believers. The God of Dunamis is alive. Hey! God's servant has been declaring favor upon us, and indeed that was my case. I was believing God to visit my family who lives in South Africa. And I wanted to enjoy the transport of Philip, which was at no cost. <laughs> then all of a sudden, a professor in one of the universities in South Africa asked me if I am happy to come give some training to their postgraduate students for three weeks, and they will cover all my expenses. Both flight to and fro, airfare, and accommodation, which cost over two million naira altogether, we are fully covered. They also gave me time to spend time with my family for another three weeks. Hey! I did not know God can do this for me. I am overgasted and flabberwhelmed. So overgasted. <laughs> and now I am believing the God of Pastor Paul and Becky and Encher to unite me, my family with me in Asia and use us to reproduce dynamics order of evangelistic grace here. It's done in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord the praise. Gladys M. from Douala, Cameroon. Above all is my place, greetings to you, son, man, and, and th commanding the day midnight prayer crew. Glory! God delivered me from that very disgusting addiction of eating clay or calabachalk. It started last year when a pregnant woman whose pregnancy craving was calabachalk kept visiting me daily. And I suddenly derived the same craving to a point where I can't stay a day without eating at least four logs of clay. When this craving starts, I can't be myself, even in church. And even in this period of fasting, when I break my fast, the first thing I must eat is the, the clay. My stool became constantly white. It left me with epigastric pain and constipation. That is, yes, that is normal. But it was not an issue for me since I could not control myself. Most nights, I wait till my husband goes to sleep. Then I hide in the kitchen to eat it. Since he warned me from eating such, all because I couldn't control this craving. On Monday, 22nd January, God served and declared that that addiction of eating clay comes to an end. And I shouted, Amen. People of God, Allah, Allah, this is the fifth day today that Gladys has not tasted calabar chalk again. And has no urge for it. Glory to God most high. And thank you so much for allowing yourself to be used by God. And may your oil overflow eternally. While my kids and I so desire to visit Dunamis one day. I know the God who has started this will bless us financially. And we shall be there one day. You are welcome. The picture and the declaration video. See? Of Jesus. You are free from addiction. Addicted to strange things. You eat up your foam, the bed foam. 
clay is an asset. Today, I take authority. Uh, there are some I can't mention now that, uh, that will be too shameful to mention. People are attracted to things that are terrible. I prophesy every strange attraction to foam, strange at attraction to clay, strange attraction to what normal human beings, to robber, what normal human beings will not eat. I take authority over that addiction. The last time shall be the last forever. Everything that has held sway in your life, the yoke of it is broken right now. Go to the next shop. Ibn Bright from Abuja. Good morning. They commanded the midnight prayer and family. I joined the midnight prayers a few days ago through a close friend of mine, Debbie. On the 24th of January, 2024, my younger brother called me from Uniben to pray for his friend who was missing for days. I called some of my friends that have already joined the midnight prayers to join their faith with mine and pray for her. I asked for her name and before the session was of personal supplications, God's servant mentioned her case. Although no name was mentioned, but God's servant made a decree that there is somebody who has been missing and that person begins to find their way back and I keyed into it by faith and was confident that it was settled at exactly 12 midnight, 12 for 8 p.m. No, okay, afternoon. On the 25th of January, my brother called to tell me that she was back. I've come to give God glory to the Lord of God of this commission for confirming his word through his servants. To him alone be the glory, honor, power, and forever. In Jesus' name, somebody shout aloud, amen. Anything that is missing in your life, I declare they are found. Praise the Lord. I've come to give glory to God who is too faithful to fail. I joined the command in my prayer last year, November. Through a sister from Adamawa that always sends me the link and forces me to wake up. At first, it wasn't easy. January this year, my husband also joined me fully too. My husband has been working like an elephant and eating like an ant in his career. And work, and we are trusting God that these 21 days prayers and fasting will not end without our testimonies. On Wednesday, 24th of January, commanded the day, midnight prayer, our own word came to us. Pastor declared, Somebody working with iron and dealing with parts. Your time of decision has arrived. That you're about to step into the job with plenty zeros. We claimed it in the name of Jesus. The following morning, when my husband got to work, his GM called him and said, I like your work and I am happy with you. And gave my husband another offer. Normally, this would have taken him 10 years to obtain. 10 years work came in one day. But the God of Pastor Paul changed the rules for my husband's sake. Ele, we are indeed grateful for this instant turnaround. More grace, sir, in Jesus' name. Something of, that's the man working with iron. Working with metal. Start from the beginning. Start, 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 start. to anywhere you want fire to burn anything you want anywhere you want fire to manifest anywhere anywhere shrine altar anywhere so shall it be lift your hands and give him the praise give him the praise give him the honor give him the adoration give him the worship 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 in the same manner somebody is, is dropping a mysterious demonic weight a demonic weight mysterious. I, I, it looks like you, you skipped the real world somebody behind the equipment either the person behind the equipment or the equipment somebody may need a laying on of hand somebody who wants Whatever form, whether you sell metal things or parts or something, or iron work, just iron. The Lord said your time of visitation has arrived. You are about to step into a job that has plenty zeros at the back. And you will testify it in a matter of days. You say, Lord, where is my word? Here is your word. And any other person who is saying, Somebody what? give the Lord a big clap of hand. The work of 10 years came to him in one day. I prophesy to somebody here, between now and the next three days, a visitation is coming that is changing your life. 
Shout the loudest, amen. This should be the final now. Is this the last? Brother R.O. from Canada, insanity reversed by the power of God. God has confirmed the words of his servant in my family last week in September 2023. My younger sibling, who is 18 years old, without history of smoking or drinking, was struck with insanity. He wasn't eating, sleeping, and was talking incoherently. His BP also rose to 150 hundred. We ran a series of tests, and it was said that he had malaria plus plus plus, an acute typhoid. During this attack, some part of his face and arm was bent at some point, which seemed like symptoms of stroke. We kept praying and trusting God in that condition since we perceived it was a spiritual battle. In October, his school resumed, and because of the affliction, he did resume in October 2023. And that became a concern. Then commanding the day started. My sister heard about it, shared the link to the family group chat and encouraged us to join. On the 16th of November, 2023, God using his servant identified the case of my family during the declaration. He said, arrow of death is retrieved and returned back to hell. The arrow of insanity that is pre preventing you from completing your agenda and finishing school. That arrow is retrieved and fired back to hell. My family started jubilating because we knew God had intervened. I also sowed the seed to connect to the words from God's servant. Brethren, three days after, we started seeing drastic changes. He started doing all that he wasn't able to do. The good news is, ah, arrow of insanity that is preventing you from finishing school. The good news now is he is back to school to the glory of God. Insanity is back to hell. He is doing good at his university. We waited for God to perfect the testimony so we could come and share with God's people. There is truly fire on this mountain. Thank you, Jesus. Give the Lord the praise. Arrow of death is retrieved and returned back to hell. Altar of jealousy, altar of envy, altar of bitterness is hereby set on fire. The arrow of insanity that is preventing you from completing your agenda from finishing school, from stepping into the military, whatever it is, that arrow is retrieved and refired back to hell. That arrow of death on the right side, left Give side the of Lord the Give the Lord a big clap of hand. The arrow is retrieved. Anyone with any arrow that is affecting your life is retrieved and refired back to hell. Shout the Lord and say amen. Are we done? All right, lift your hands and give the Lord the praise. Give the Lord the honor. Give the Lord the adoration. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, somebody say a loud amen. Take the next one minute and 30 seconds and talk to God. Whatever is your personal supplication. You heard all the testimonies here. Which whatever you want God to do for you, ask him right now. Father, move my life to the next level. Thank him first for all the things we have heard and then ask him for something. Thank you, Master. In the name of Jesus, lift up your hands everywhere you are and receive his release on your life.
hands high everywhere you are especially those connected from all around the world I stand here by the authority of he that has the key of David that opens and no man shuts and shuts and no man opens by that authority I announce every door the enemy has locked against your life today that door is opened if you are saying amen shout the loudest amen I prophesy the opening of the door of spiritual progress the door of growth I prophesy the opening of the door of potentials the door of power the door of the palace the door of supernatural supplies that great potential that the enemy has locked up great giftings great talent I'm speaking to everyone here tonight but there is a man like a Moses with such great gifting but lost in the wilderness just roaming about like Moses who had the rod incidentally your name is like that starts with an M literally like Moses I announce today the season of roaming about is over forever under the next 72 hours my God and your God is shifting you to the next level the demons of that polygamous family will not mess up your life will not waste your destiny you will not repeat the calamities of your father's house in the name of Jesus you have never experienced the love of a father your heavenly father is about to show you love like never before in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus you have favored people and the favor turns into hatred people you assisted begin to resist you they begin to set you up you introduce them and they disconnect you hey I declare today that satanic mystery is over without any doubt what you need to know tonight is that you are in a season of openings 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 lift up your hands Lift your hands and receive something. Oh, Lift your hands. Let me end with this. The Lord is showing me people that were born with something. Something followed you from your birth. It's a genotype situation. It's a blood condition. It's a deformity, a defect. Today, anything that followed you, that's right, from the womb of your mother, that is a liability for your life today that liability is expired today is the expiry date
and also family patterns and cycles you notice the disease the affliction the poverty the negative cycle in your father's house in your extended family i am anointed to announce tonight that pattern is broken Lift your hands high and get ready to receive something. There is a man with an R name, R, like a Richard, a Reuben or whatever. An R name, born with an ear that is not hearing. The same with a woman with an R name, born with an ear that is not hearing. I'm aware that I'm on commanding the day platform and this person can be anywhere around the world. But in case you are here in person, and that is your case then you can rush to the front here and if that wasn't your name but you were born with a hearing defect or total loss in one ear or two ears you rush to the front quickly lift up your hands everywhere you are when i say in the name of jesus you place your hand on yourself and scream and receive if you're on the gallery up or you are in the overflows and the distance is too long for you still find your way to the front god is reversing satanic family ancestral patterns lift your hands up it's clearing out the right eye of somebody while they come just identify the one with the name in case the, the one with the name is here. Lift your two and seven one. What's the name? Lift your hands up. Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to receive? Are you ready to receive? To receive what? That, that's right. That's Rita. Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Born with, with which ear? left ear not hearing from birth how old are you 20 years rita's left ear death lift your hands up people lift your two hands and when i say in the name of jesus you place your hand on your head and scream i receive are you ready to receive let the fire fall in the name when i say in the name of jesus one two three you scream i receive are you ready to receive in the name of jesus one two at birth very very and tender. Deaf in the ear. yes and it's open now please sit down people and the ear is already open what's the name somewhere uh, all right is this Susan? all right all of you place your hand in the good ear the ear that you can hear with i, I, I don't need this guy place the hand in the good ear Place the hand in the, in the good ear. Oh, he is not hearing with both ears. Both ears. Come, both ears. Remain standing, all of you. Place your hand in the good ear. This is two ears. Power is flowing everywhere. Open. Open. Bring him. Give him the mic. Say Jesus. Amen. 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 
Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Two ears deaf, both open. Are you just sitting and looking like that? Are you just sitting and looking like that? To the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now, all of you, place your hand. If the two ears of this one has opened, nothing prevents. Parotid glands are also inflamed and affected the ears. How many are they? Five, three. Place your hand in the good ear. Two ears. One is totally blocked, the other one is impaired. Open. Open. In Jesus' name. Talking about hearing problem. Close a good ear. Father, thank you because all these 60 or 100 or whatever, how many ears, I declare them open now. In Jesus' name, hear clear. In Jesus' name. The girl with the two ears, deaf. Give out the mic. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. All of you close the good ears. Close the good ears. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. She's under power. Oh. Power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Say it louder. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Power. Under power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say it louder. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. I know they. Open. Before we could test, I say, I know they hear. Now you don't hear now. <laughs> hey! Now you, you overhear, sir. Hey! Close only the good ear, not the two ears. Is it two ears? Two ears, okay. Take your two hands from the ears. Open. Open. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Power. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. He had an accident that deafened the ear. Open. Say Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 Once you hear me, just let them stand. Don't waste the time. Just speak. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Open. Open. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. I, I, Hallelujah. Small, small. This one is deaf and dumb. Open. Open. Jesus. Jesus. Open your two ears. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. 
Alléluia. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Open. Open. Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. I can hear. You can hear. Open. Open. Remove the hand. Open. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Open. Amen. 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 Open, open, open. Hola, 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 electricity. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. This is work. Amen. Amen. Wow. One. Two. Papa. Papa. Deaf and dumb. For how long? From birth. From birth, this boy was born deaf and dumb. Sitting and looking like that. Hey! Never see any Are you just like sitting you. and looking like that? I never see any hey! God like you. I never see God any is God opening like something you. in your life. I never see opening any. a door in your life. Opening a door in your life. I never see her. Leave her, leave her, leave her. Like it you. might be the mother. Leave her, leave her. Like Who is she? to her. It's the mother. That's why you should leave her. She's celebrating the mother. Hola, 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 hola. Incredible. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Adonai. Open. Open. Another deaf and dumb child. Are you just sitting and looking like that, somebody? Are you just sitting and look? Hey! 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 One. Yeah. One. Yeah. Papa. Mama. Mama. Ah. Ah. Right. Ah. ah. Give the Lord a big clap and a loud shout. Ear is open. Words are formed. Which ear? He cannot hear. Thank you. She's hearing right now. Father, thank you for healing this autism. Two ears. Open. So Jesus. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Close this one. In Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus. Jesus. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Don't turn. Hallelujah. Open. Jesus. Amen. 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 Good. One. One. Amen. Amen. Good. Amen. Two clip. Two ears not hearing. Two. Two ears. Open. 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 Open
happen. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Are you just sitting and looking like that? Is that how to celebrate the king? Stand up on your feet. She has not been breathing for how long? For two years now, the nose has opened. And your name is Rachel when we mention the R name. And the ear is open too. She cannot hear with the left ear and cannot and cannot breathe with the left nostril. The left nostril is open and the left ear is open. She is blocking the, no, the other nostril now and breathing with the left nostril. Incredible. Can you hold, close this ear? I said Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am healed. I, am healed. I, can, hear. I can hear you. Hey! 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 Grandson, deaf and obvious heal. No hearing at all, I'm not speaking. You are, so, you are too tall, kneel down. Father, I take authority over that deaf devil. Lose your grip of this ball. Jesus' name. Out! Open! Open! Allah, Allah, Allah. Tongue loose in Jesus' name. One. Bang. Wow. Oh. Two. 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 Mm. Two. Papa. Pa. Papa. 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 Pa. This one, this is thoroughly deaf and dumb. And he's hearing and speaking. And you just stand sitting and looking he like that. Born deaf and dumb. Born deaf and dumb, sir. Hallelujah. Papa. Boo -boo. One. Ooh. Give the Lord. You are the mother. Hasn't had a word. Hasn't spoken. Eh? He never said nothing. Incredible. How did they talk to you? the hand did they do father thank you for this boy be, be glorified in Jesus name when people are hearing for the first time you need to teach them to talk boy say Halle. Do -do. hallelujah do -do. hallelujah amen do -do. amen do -do. papa do -do. Give the Lord a big clap and a shout of praise. What shall we say a unto big clap. the Lord? Now it's just over. One. One year. Wow. 
deaf and dumb matured man from birth. Open. Open. Jesus. Jesus. Be healed. Somebody jump up on your feet. One. Baba. Baba. Ah. Ah. Amen. Amen. He's very eager. They, who came with him? How old can he be now? It's, it's, it's much above 40. How many people on this line? Over 70 something. Yes, that were deaf. Opened by the power of God. Some deaf and dumb. Opened on the, and spoke. Is there anything that is too hard for Jehovah? We came here tonight. If we continue at this rate, we may not have even the worship that we came for. But, but I want you to use one minute to stand upon your feet. Celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. And as you are dancing, you are saying, the God who can make the deaf to hear, who can make the dumb to speak, can make anything to happen in my life. And all of you that are standing here healed, your testimonies are permanent. A woman here is representing her, her family. Five of them are not hearing and talking. But God has, God has reached out to her as a point of contact and we declare the whole family healed. Father, we give you the praise. I'd like you to dance for one minute after that Judy K and then dance in Oyekon. Jesus precious name. Jesus precious name. Jesus precious name. I'd like you to dance for one minute and celebrate the King of Kings and tell God whatever door is closed in my life is opening up. They can dance back to their seat. in London, England, April, over Arena Wembley is explosive in God's presence with the glory co conference advert is on. Everybody who believes that something has just broken in your life, give him a clap, a shout and a leap of joy.
get ready for full blast worship Canada full blast worship full blast explosive devil chasing prison door opening worship all our people here are ready and don't shift an inch until the grace is shared give the Lord a big clap of hand Judy give the Lord a big 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 clap and a shout of praise be seated come on just lift your hands where you are and begin to worship in the spirit Come on, use your prayer language right now. Come on, you are the worship. You are the offering. Release your worship in this moment. He's the Holy Ghost. He's the Holy Ghost. He commands. He's the Holy Ghost. Spirit of the living God. He's the Holy Ghost. Scepter of the King. Of kings. He's the Holy Ghost, seal of the age, and he's changing everything. In obedience to Christ, he'll let me come by. He's changing everything. He'll be a martyr side. In obedience to Christ, hey, he's changing everything. Everything. Everything is changing. Everything. Hey, Urabata is aligning everything. In obedience to Christ, Elapokoba. In obedience to Christ, Oh, Sababate. In obedience to Christ, Elikobasa. Hey, in alignment to Christ. He is Hey, there is a river on your inside, out of your bellies flows rivers of living waters. Let it flow, let it flow. He's shining, he's shining, he's shining, he's shining, he's shining. Heli Bakom, he's singing a mountain. Heli Deed, Heli Deed, da da da, Heli Deed. He's aligning everything. In obedience. Hey, he's shining everything. Oh, go, 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 go. He be a man. He's shining everything. Oh, Saba. I run back on the abundance. Hey, hey, oh my God, somebody release your worship, release your heart to the Holy Ghost. Hey, Mangosa, release your heart to the Holy Ghost. Tell him, I am your vessel. I am I'm the one you are looking for, Holy Ghost. Hey, as we stand on ground, beholding us in a glass. The glory of the Lord. We are being changed. We are being changed from one degree of glory to another degree by the Holy Ghost. He's changing. He's changing. He's changing. You can never be the same. You can never. Hey. He's changed. He's changed. He's changed. He's changed. He's changed. He's changed. He's a holy Ghost, Spirit of God. He's a holy Ghost, 
scepter of the king of kings. You are the hope. You are the Holy Ghost. Seal of the age too. And you are tied in everything. Hey. From cold altars to altars on fire. 2024 needs you prepared. 2024 needs you prepared to a burning and shining light. You burn, you burn for the purpose of the Lord. You burn in obedience to Christ. Hey, I am your worship. I am your offering. Do what you want with me. Do what you want with me. Do what you want. Somebody, this is your moment with the Holy Ghost. This is your moment. This is your moment with the Holy Ghost. Do what you want with me. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It's tight. It's tight. Hey, he's uprooting anything that stands in his way. Hey, let go be up. It's changing everything. Then the soul. You are the reason. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. Oh, my son. My Jesus. You are the reason I exist. You're the one for me. You're the one for me. And why should I fear when I, when I have you? I'm surrounded by your love. I'm on this soil. You're everlasting. Jesus, why should I fear what be people say? Daddy, they don't know what I mean to you, my lover. They don't that you're my everything. Oh, I'm a son. They don't know what I mean to you. Hey, Bella, no son. You are my everything. You are the crown upon my head. You are my propeller. You are my propeller. You are my propeller. Do I don't know. Do I don't know what you mean to me. What you mean to me. They don't know. They don't know what you mean to me. You are the reason I live. You are the reason. Jesus, you are the one. Jesus, you're the one for me. Help me like this. You are, you are, you are the reason. You are the reason. Jesus, you're the one for me. Jesus, you are, you are, you are. Say, if all of God is Jesus, I've got something. To Australia, hey, if all of God is the Holy Ghost, I've got something more than I am turning into the rain. Something more than God, I've got. That's right. That's right. Something more than. Because all you got is a Holy Ghost. Tell it on my soul. Give me a tell. I will tell it. Jesus is more. Hey, something more than God. Hey, I've got something more than something more than God. He is a Holy Ghost. He all of God.
and the price to the Lamb of God forever. Amen. Nimozi, 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 baby boy. Shall I say Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We love you, we worship and adore you. We've come to glory, refer your name in all the Lift your hands and tell him tonight. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Glorify your name. Darling Jesus, I love you, I worship and adore you, glorify your name in Come to glory, refer your name. and give him glory. I give you glory, Lord, as I honor you. That's what we came here for. I give you glory, Lord, hey, as I lift your voice, you are hey, you are
Tale Glory 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 to the Lord for your glory yes. and what did you be praised? Oh Lord, You are your Lord, Lord. Yahweh, Korabalastania, the King of We bow down and worship.
To the left. To the left. Oh God. To the left, uh, to the left, oh God, hallelujah, to the left. Oh, the 
chapter 3 verse 7 why the poor and Silas night it says unto the angel of the church in Philadelphia write this thing say he that is holy he that is true he that has a key of David he that open it and no man shut it and shut it and no man open it lift up your right hand and say father in this climate of worship, of worship, we ask, we ask that the key, key of David will open, open the, door the door of the palace the and the door the of, power of power for me, for, me, for my life, for my and for my destiny, for our nation. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, I guess our Father, in this climate of worship, we ask that the key of David will open the door of the palace and the door of power. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and pray. Jesus precious name we have worship the Lord has heard us give Jesus a mighty clap of rain and be seated in heavenly places taking us further tonight in this segment of special ministrations we have in this order Daniel a key call after that, we have Neom, then Debbie, and then GUC. They will come in that order, Daniel Kiko, Neom, Debbie, and GUC. Give Jesus a big clap of ring. Somebody wave your hands and bless his name.
bayan dele brahan. Lift up those voices and cry as you are. Rade bande le kianda ratos kahai. Christ is my firm foundation It's the rock on which I stand When everything around me shaking Do I have a witness That I've never been more glad That I put my faith in Jesus Do I have a witness That He's never let me down it's faithful to a generation Woo! So why would he fail now? He won't Do I have witness this evening? He won't No, 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 no He won't fail He won't fail And yes, my faith will part Cause I still got joy in chaos And I'm at peace that makes no sense And I won't be going under Sing it real loud That I put my faith in It's never let me down And it's faithful to every day Hey, 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 oh, no, I'm bad, oh, yeah, 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 oh, let me fall, oh, let me start, oh, oh, no, I'm bad, is that somebody professing this, is that what you're professing this new year, put your hands on your head, put your hands on your head, Put your hands on your head. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Oh, let me fall. Say, oh, 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 Cause from the sun set free Oh, it's free indeed I'm a child Yes, I am Do I have witness this evening? That in my father's house There's a place for me I'm a child The song without the music. On the and in my father's house. Three years ago, the Lord gave me a song. I never thought the song would do the way it's doing right now, but I give all the glory to God. If you know the song, just lift up your hands. More than my mouth can testify. Oh, more than this mind can comprehend. See, I see. The wonders of yours I'm so sure that This is not the end oh, 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 oh.
want to put some posture to it. seconds I'll share my testimony three years ago I was electrocuted and I thought I was gonna die because in the process smoke was coming out of my nose my siblings were with me they almost held me it would have been a whole family disaster but in the middle of that period, process I screamed Jesus for two seconds and the light went off and two seconds the light came back they rushed me to the hospital the doctor said if I stayed another two seconds in that situation I would have died it was God who preserved me. And while I was reminiscing how God kept me and gave me another chance, I began to write on that bed. I don't know what your testimony is, but this is mine. I'm so glad you found me one. Ayata Koliata, I can see me, I can tell, and I know it's your Ekaila Mahai. Oh, my days, I will see you. I feel in the spirit of giving the space. Yes, this is your moment to express your heart to daddy. You brought me. Yes, me. I'm so glad you found me worthy. Cause I can see, I can tell, and I know it's your grace. Oh my, I will see. This part say grace is found me. Grace. That's my message. Grace made me who I am. Grace redeemed. I let my grace oh, sent me. Grace. He made me who I am. Grace redeemed me. Yes, He sustains me. And He made me who I am. 
begin to speak in other tongues. God is already here. I want your voice like the sound of many waters. God is ready to embrace. Ready to embrace. Ready to embrace. Open up your mouth and Open up your mouth and shut it down. I'm going to Doctors were sleeping. That is why you remain my great feast. When the doctors were not picking their calls, that is why you remain my great feast. Full of weakness and everything, but you strengthen me. That is why you remain my great feast. A friend that I can't trust. You cannot gossip me. Poor friend, you. A friend that I can't trust. You hold me and you love me. For I found in you a friend that I can't trust. That is why you remain my great. I have found a place where I can pour my heart. I have found a place where I can be in my sin. On a ship. A place where there are no secrets to hide. A place where I can be. Baba, with you, Lord, I can be in a care and not a shame. My God. Mm -hmm. With you, Lord, I can be awful and have no fear. For I found, I found in you a friend that I can love. That is why. I know what this song has still dealt with me. I don't I just that's why I'm staying on it. Flow. Lord, I can't 
can be naked and not ashamed. That's right. My God. With you, Lord, I can be. Hold of it. For I found I a friend that I can trust. That is why. Wherever you are, allow him touch you. 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 a place my heart cries out for love the power of God is here there is a place I'm yearning for it is a place hey. where was to the deep oh I'm I am I'm of our way by this deep longing, Lord, oh, take me, Lord, to your secret. Shut up, Take me by the hand, I dare, to your holy place. Come and let me see your face and your glory. Let me know you more than I ever before. There is a blood. My heart cries out for Lord. There is a place I am yearning for. Ah, 
see what God is doing. We know you are here. We know you are here. We know you have come. We know you are here. See the hand of Jesus. We know you are here. We know you are here. We are aware that you are here. It's not an ignorance in God. We know you are here. Healing the sick. We know you are here. 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 Jesus has arrived. Yes. In this place. See the hand of God. He's upon his people. See the hand of God. See the hand of God. Upon this place. Hey, Kai. Upon this place, upon this place, he kebera kabala katia, haraba kabela kete kebeka ta, asebela kebela kebeka ko, pray to him, asebela kete kete kete. Jesus, you are here. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you are here. Mm -hmm. Can't you see him? Oh, Ooh. 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 Of this kind, 
mighty name Amen. we have worshipped. Acts chapter 13 an interlude of intercession Acts chapter 13 verse 36 for David after he had served his own generation by the will of God fell on sleep and was laid unto his fathers and saw corruption first chronicles alright okay let's Lift up a voice, everyone, and let's say this prayer together. Father, in this climate of worship, we ask that the key of David will open the doors of potential and prosperity for my life, family, destiny, and your church. Oh, Lord, one more time. Father, in this climate of worship, we ask that the key of David will open the doors of potential and prosperity for my life, family, destiny, and your church. Lord, in the name of Jesus, lift up a voice and let us pray. Father, in this climate of worship, we ask that the key of David will open for us doors of prosperity, doors of potential for my life for my family destiny the church let the key of David open for us the doors of potential, the doors of prosperity, for our lives, our family, for the church, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. The Lord has heard and answered us. Give him a clap, a shout of praise, and please be seated. Taking us further and deeper into the worship, we have the following minstrels, minstrels, Prophet Okebe, Nene Olajide, Steve Crown, and Choma Jesus. 
Give the Lord a clap, a shout of praise as they come up. Thou alone art worthy to be praised. 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 Sing thou alone. Can you open up your mouth and let Jesus hear you tonight? Sing thou alone, Lord. You alone, Jesus, will get the glory. Raise your voice and thou alone. Over this atmosphere, one more time. Sing thou alone. Somebody excited to be present in a moment like this. Can you stand on your feet and shake the neighbor by your side who is sleeping? Somebody give the Lord a shout. Tell your neighbor, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Somebody scream. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Exalt. I say, shake your neighbor. Magnify the Lord with me. Uh, Exalt the, name the Lord is good to me. The Lord okay. He came and died for me. Hey. I say, magnify, magnify. I say, magnify the Lord with me. Exalt the name of Jesus. Magnify the Lord with me. Take it up. As I be here, so hey, me I want to praise. Hey, me I want to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. As we show here, so hey, we want to dance. We want to dance in the kind of way Jesus said, Go happy. Okay, as I be here, so hey, me I want to praise. Hey, me I want to praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Hey, as I show here, so hey, I want to dance. Break it down. My soul posts in the Lord. Let the oppressed hear this and rejoice. Let those sing songs and praise to the Lord. He's our Lord and He's our God. Jesus is the King of the universe. In him I live and move and the story does. The show me so much love that I found myself. I praise Him till I die, not just in the past. Oh, you're magnified. The Lord is good. Let me testify. His grace in me makes me qualify. As strong as I live, I will glorify Him. Oh, yeah, oh, you're magnified. Oh. The Lord is good. Let me testify. Oh. His grace in me makes me qualify. As strong as we live. Magnify the Lord. You say, tell your neighbor. Yeah, yeah. The Lord is good to me. Try. See, He gave my life for me. Break it down. Now, walk to 20 persons. Shut your hands and tell them congratulations. Welcome to Nations Worship 2024. Somebody excited. Give the Lord a job on this. Congratulations! Congratulations! Total congratulations! In Jesus' name! Congratulations! Congratulations! Total congratulations! In Jesus' name, who the teacher you? 
Hey, who they bless you? Hey, who they make you the smile? They make you the fresh on a daily daily. Who they teach tell you now? Who they bless you? Hey, who they make you the smile? They make you up. When you teach up, eh? Who they provide for you? Who they protect you? Who they promote you? Who they connect you? Tell me, who will you serve? Who will you praise? Who will you follow? Hey, who will you serve? Who will you praise? Who will you follow? Everybody, one, two, one, two, one, two, everyone. I don't talk him before, and I will talk him again. If you don't praise the name of Jesus, eh, tell me now, what thing you get? I feel like what I hate, though. If you know how to dance, know the way to. Let everything that knows, praise the name of the Lord. Don't tell me, say, no, be the way to. Hey, if you know how to jump, 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 jump. Everybody jump. Step into your own foot. Space. Are you ready? Or oh, you carry me to go? Jehovah carry her. Say, 
We are going. Thank you so much. Give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Father, we worship you. Blessed be your name, O oh, great monarch of Zion. We raise incense of worship and thanksgiving. Hallelujah to your name, O oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name, O oh Lord Jesus. To the king 
would never fail.
Angels bow before your throne and miracles happen in your name. Lift it up. What a mighty God. Angels bow before your throne. Tonight, there are miracles. Tonight, we have come to Zion, the city of the Lord. And in Zion, is a place of refuge. It's a place where testimonies happen. Place of the finished works. If you came here with your dancing shoes to celebrate Jesus, and you want to give him an ayah dance, if we have the youth in this house, your dancing shoes, sir. Let me see you jump and give it praise, sir. Come and dance before your God. Come and dance before your God. To see 2024 is not easy. Yet. Somebody say, Aya. Are you ready? Are you ready? Aha. Did you come here with your dancing shoes? Aha. Where are my dancers? Uh -huh. I cannot see you. Uh -huh. Do you know what you are hearing? Somebody's... Let's go.
going to teach you a dance. Listen. Go. Shoo a lot of war. Say. Say. Aha. One, two. Shoo a lot. Shoo a lot. Shoo a lot. One more time. Let's go. Say you a lot. Aha. Aha. This now, she will love, she will love me. Such a girl, what is to be placed? I give you 20 seconds now, just before you're gone. Aha, somebody scream. Hey! 
Jehovah, of the Bible to be. I am because the woman and the Abu Makune. I am because the woman and the Abu Makune. He will
If you know the meaning of Igwe, can I see you wave your hands? Igwe means heaven. So if you want to shout, as you shout, your heaven will open. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. of triumph stand up on your feet and I'd like you to hear something when the daughter of Herodias danced his father asked him and said what do you want I give you to the half of the kingdom in a short while we shall finish the last lap which we are about to enter and I don't want you to shift one inch. I'm sure you are not shifting. Until that the grace is shared. So you are going to ask God one thing. Like the daughter of Herodias. This is my one thing. That I want this worship night to do in my life. We shall present it before God. And make declarations before we leave here. On that now, if a mortal man will take off the head of a human being, 
what she asked for was the head of John the Baptist to satisfy a little girl. How much more positive things will Jehovah do for you tonight? How many of you, when I say one thing, don't mention two, don't mention three. You may have 20 things, but the most important one. How many of you know that one thing? Wave your hands and say, Father, I'm, I'm set for it. All right, lift up your hands. We take the prayer and then the last lap and then we present our last one thing. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 16, verse 25. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God. And the prisoners heard them. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's band were loose lift up your hands and say this after me say father in this climate of worship we ask that the key of david will open the door of prisons of progress and of purpose lord in the name of jesus lift up your voice and prayer La Fredo si cacanda la tia, si la gabaga la gada 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 gada, si la gabaga la gabaga la gabaga la gabara, si la gabaga la gabaga la gabaga la gabara, si la colega pego la prado santa la capando la tia, si la colega prado santa ya, y fralo sataya, y cando la gabaro sidea. In Jesus precious name we are prayed. And every believer say, believe in him. You may be seated. To take us further tonight, we have a church John King. Theophilus. K. Strings. And Joe Priest. Go ahead and celebrate the King of Kings. Your hands and tell him, Lord, 
this place can you lift up your voice and begin to magnify the Lord just worship the Lord in your own way just magnify the Lord it is unto him that we have gathered magnify him if you can pray your understanding pray your understanding if you can pray the Holy Ghost Pray in the Holy Ghost. Just magnify the Lord and fix your gaze upon Jesus. Lefita makos kefele temina gaski. Yaito kabas kababondele makuria. Yesefe kopali muvele sahiko perigas kevelama. Yaito kabasi varatas. Lipere tesiko palama. Yaina makala tobiatas. Sete perete batumina, sai perete debi kabua. Who is like unto thee, O God? Who is like unto thee? Mm. <laughs> oh, oh, we all know you. We all know you. We all know you. Aya. We all know you. Liva ruga bada kupala. Si fele poco bombe le pentis Ayako perina makuria da basata We all know you we all know you We all know you tonight We all know you We all know you We give you 
glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are wonderful. You This world will have no place in us. Mm. 
come death, come trials and temptation. We will stand, bro, claiming Jesus' name. Ayakamo, we will never bow down. To bow, Ayakopo do Komamana. I will not bow to the mount of lions. I will not bow to the fiery furnace. If I die, I die. If I perish, I perish. But my Savior must be known. I Rafa Fakabonde Ayako Bolomo Saikabala Fara Sakabede Ekuria Basile I will not bow to the Mount of Lions I will not bow to the fiery fallings If I die if I perish, I perish, but my Jesus must be seen. I will not uh, to the Mount of Lions. I will not bow to the fiery furnace. If I die, I die. If I perish, I perish, but my Savior must be you can save I have seen you save before but if you choose not to save you are worth dying for I know that you can deliver I have seen you deliver before if you choose not to deliver They overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimony. The other part of that scripture says, and they locked up their lives, even unto death. Oh, there is a breed that Jesus is raising, that death is not a threat. Yakatwas, every day, Samama Twas. I see Jesus seated on his throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing things again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. I see Jesus higher seated on the throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing things again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. <laughs> I see Jesus seated on the throne. <laughs> I see his angels ascending everywhere. Spirit fixing things again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the I see Jesus. I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels ascending everywhere. I see the Spirit. Fixing things again. Hallelujah. You reign, you reign, you ancient giants, cardinals. You are mighty. You reign, you reign, you reign.
Jesus to Jesus. Let's wave it side by side with understanding and did our God reigns. Wave, 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 wave. Make a joyful noise to the Lord. place where I am still safe after it all. I have found a place where I can pour my heart. I have found a place where I can be myself. A place where I can have no Secrets to hide A place where I am still safe After You know the song Sing it from your heart With you Lord I can be naked And not ashamed Oh With you Lord I can be open And have no fear friend I can trust oh, oh, oh that is why you remain my great physician oh with you Lord I can be naked and not ashamed oh, oh, oh with you Lord I can be open friend that I can trust. That is why. Mm. For I found in you a friend that I can trust. That is why you will remain my great God for mercy this morning. It's the son of David, have mercy on me. I came solely because of you, oh Lord. Cry out to the Lord for mercy. 
song of those songs is fix me, Lord. Fix me. Fix me. Unworthy is my state. But Lord, your love calls to me. And he says, Child, be bold. Spirit of the Lord over upon it. Shepherdani and Amen. Rebeneko. This is your space with Adonai. Come on, lift up your voice. Lift up your voice. Lift up your cup. Rebedemekama. Shibete. Ramana Mazi. Spirit of God, don't let fatigue, don't let fatigue step in. Come on, open up your mouth. Rebena mashibete, repete da, repesite ne meko mashi. Cry out to the Lord. Cry out to the Lord. Fix me. Help me. Fix 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 me. Help me. Yeah. 
Everybody, he says, The Lord is my light. The Lord is my light, and He orders my steps. Wherever He leads me, I will follow. I'm going to teach you and show you one of the scriptures for us to do. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Yeah. 
somebody shout. Hallelujah. Somebody, who am I seeing this miracle right now? Whose miracle am I seeing now? Whose testimony am I seeing now? Whose next level am I seeing now? Whose open door am I seeing now? I get the one that I'm seeing is open door. Your testimony. Somebody shout. Hallelujah. 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 I said doors of favor. Oh. Somebody give the Lord a big shout of praise. Push it. Come on, come on. Every. Simple song, simple song. Every door is open. Is open. Everybody sits up. Everybody. All around the world. Everybody. Every door, come on. Say every door. We say it's open. I said doors of favor open. I said doors of increase. I said doors of miracle. Everybody says. Are we ready? Are we ready? Push the sound up and let's. I need this sound everywhere, everywhere. Aha! Come on! Hey. Aha! Aha! Ah. Somebody shout! Aha! Are you ready? One, two, everybody! Everybody! Everybody, you sir! Everybody! Say every door! Every door! We say it's all! 
Everybody say. Say every door. It's over. I saw the God who is Joy, 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 joy,
everybody. Just the voices come on, shout. Very well. I got you. Where is the job?
yourself the disservice of living here without presenting to God one thing that this key of David must do for you. Are you ready to live just like that? Yes, I'm coming on that. So get ready, sit down one minute and get a piece of paper and write one thing. Those at the entrances remain there until the grace is shared. While you are doing so, I'd like you to see the kind of victory that you are walking into from here. The indisputable dancers proceed. While you pick just one thing that God will do for you today. That's right, I see them in Zari and everywhere writing their list. One, just the list of one thing. But the youth and ruddy and of a fair country. And the Philistines said unto David, Am I a dog that thou comest to me with saves? And the Philistines cursed David by his gods. And the Philistines said to David, Come to me, and I will give your flesh to the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then said David to the Philistine, Thou comest to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. Please don't miss what is going on. Will don't miss Lord what is going on on the screen right now. And I will smite you. Take your head from you. After Give this the carcasses of the host of the Philistines to Unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth, that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel. And all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord. Somebody said the battle is the Lord. Don't miss what is going on now. You can pause your writing and finish the vision. The Goliath of bloodshed in your family. The Goliath of premature death. Tonight shall be the obituary of those Goliaths. Death can never kill life. I want you to lift up your right hand and say, We win, we win, we win. In every condition, whatever the devil does, we win, we win, we win. Begin to pray in the spirit. Begin to pray in the spirit. To the armies of Israel. Why are you bothered to set your battle in array? I'm not a Philistine. I'm your servant to serve. 
kill you a man and let him come down to me. If you be able to fight with me and kill me, then we will be your servant. But if I prevail against you and kill you, then you shall be our servant and servant. For I defy the armies of Israel this day. I disgrace Israel this day. I reproach Israel this day. Give me a man that we may fight together. When Saul and all Israel heard those words of the Philistines, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. And as he talked to them, behold, there came up the champion, the Philistine of God, Goliath by name, out of the armies of the Philistines and spake according to the same words. And David heard them. And all the men of Israel, when they saw the man fled from him, and we are so afraid. And the men of Israel said, Have you seen this man that is come up surely to defy Israel? Is he come up? And it shall be that a man who killeth him, the king will enrich him with great riches and will give him his daughter and make his father's house free in Israel. And David spoke to the men that stood by him, saying, What shall be done to the man that killeth this Philistine and taketh away the reproach of, from Israel? For who is this uncircumcised Philistine? that he should defy the armies of the living God. Who is this non-covenant vagabond? Who is this bastard child of a bitch that is here to defy the armies of the living God? I better die than to watch this man leave. And when the Philistine looked about and saw David, he disdained him. Am I a dog? That has the rest to me with God. Come to me and I will give your flesh the fowls of the air and the beast of the field. Ha, 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 ha. And that comes to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield. But I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the armies of Israel, whom thou hast defied. This day will the Lord deliver you into my hand, and I will smite you, take your head from you, give the carcasses of the host of the Philistines this day unto the fowls of the air and to the wild beasts of the earth that all the earth may know that there is a God in Israel and all this assembly shall know that the Lord saveth not with sword and spear for the battle is the Lord and he will give you into our hands and it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew near to meet David that David hasted and ran toward the army to meet the Philistine and David put his hand in his bag and took thence his stone and slung it that the stone sank into his forehead and he fell upon his face to the earth so David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and with a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him but there was no sword in the hand of David therefore David ran and stood upon the Philistine and took his sword and drew it out of the sheath thereof and slew him and cut off his head therewith and when the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they fled. And the men of Israel and of Judah arose and shouted and pursued the Philistines until thou come to the valley and to the base of Ekron. And the wounded of the Philistines fell down by the way to Shearari, even unto God and unto Ekron. Somebody shout power! Goliath of the Bible fell, the Goliath of our nation shall fall tonight. If the Goliath of the Bible fell, the Goliath in your family shall fall tonight. I am anointed as, a, as an axe, a battle axe tonight to demolish those demonic Goliath of enslavement.
Could you have missed that for anything? Every Goliath of your family, they are dying tonight. So go on ahead and quickly finalize that list of one thing. And once you have done it, you lift it up. Do your best not to shoot an inch. Do not miss pastors. I, saw, I, I, I thought that you brought bottles of oil to go and set the devil on fire where you are going. Well, in case you brought a bottle of oil in addition, in Jesus' name, I prophesy upon this oil. He suffered no man to do them wrong. He rebuked kings for their sake, saying, Touch not my anointed, and do my prophets no harm. Wherever this bottle, this oil is poured, the devil is in trouble. Preservation is released. Deliverance is released. Liberty is released. Freedom is released. Go forth and break forth. In Jesus' name. Amen. Everybody stand up on your feet. On your full light in one hand and that list of one thing on the other hand. And just leave, the, leave them up. Up on the gallery everywhere. While this is going on before I make the proclamation, there were those I asked to on the light at first. When I gave the altar call and led you to Christ and prayed for you to receive your, your salvation. You will be the first person in the front here tonight. Pick your Bibles and bags from the main sanctuary, the galleries everywhere. You remember when I preached sharply and then gave an altar call, led you in prayer, asked you to lift your hand, asked you to on, on your light. Wherever you are in that category, quickly rush forward here while the choir is singing. Now, lift your light and lift your paper. Lift your answer. I call it answer. It's not expectation now. It's answer. Lift it up. Yes, those that prayed at first after me, that I asked to own their light at that first time, quickly run to the front. Give us a slight song while they come forward. I'll, I'll give you the count of 25. Wave the lights everywhere you are. And those in the overflows too. Keep coming. yourself that injustice all right even if you want to move so you can immediately rush out one of the graces here don't don't still do that just wait until the very last word is released then you can get out of that entrance there god bless you lift up the light still and wave it i keep counting up to 23 go ahead four five keep coming six forward maybe yours is you want an addiction broken a negative lifestyle broken something you are not happy with in your life you want it broken quickly come forward addictions of tobacco marijuana prostitution womanizing lying cheating fraud gambling masturbation stealing theft bitterness unforgiveness uncleanness of any sort quickly rush forward now while they are still coming keep waving what you have and if you are here for the first time 
you are in the city of Abuja, but you are here in Dunamis Church for the first time. Also, quickly step forward and let's receive you. You are in the city of Abuja, but you are here in Dunamis for the first time. Step forward here and let's receive you also. And you want to be a member of the church? Also, step forward. Thank you, Master. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Lift it high now. Minister, ministers of worship, you're we're happy to have you. And the Lord bless you and replenish you back in Jesus' precious name. Lift your hands. And people that have come from everywhere, leadership from Cross River State, Taraba State, and several of the states that are here. One of the state's deputy speaker passed through here in the afternoon, but has to be in his state because of a certain urgencies. Deputy governor of another state also was in town, but he took permission not to be here tonight. We believe that it's a new day and a new season for you. Lift up your lights. Lift it up. Just wave it. Shut it. I hear that the end of all delays in your life has come. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. The end of all delays in your life just arrived. Lift it high, leave the light up and leave the people out. I declare the release. Those war angels that walked with David, those open door angels that opened the door of the palace, the door of power, the door of potentials, the door of progress, the door of purpose. Help her there that opened the prison door and brought him out of the wilderness. I make demands on the dispatch of this same order of angels. If you have never shared a testimony in your life before, this will be your first testimony. And if you have shared testimonies in your life before, you are helper right there. Hey! The God who opened the ears of over 60 something or 70 people this night, including completely deaf and dumb people, 
that God is opening the door that has been closed against your life. In the name of Jesus. Before the sun sets tonight, today, Saturday, your testimony has already reached you. Before you wake up from the sleep of this vigil, text messages, WhatsApp messages will be waiting for you confirming your testimony, confirming your picture, confirming your turnaround. This light shining in your hands is a prophetic signification that the power of darkness is finally broken off your life. In that sleep, you will have visitation encounters that will guarantee your turnaround. When we meet by 11.30 p.m. On online at the commanding the daybreak, midnight prayers, your testimonies will be long. In Sunday services in all our locations tomorrow, testimonies will be exploding. And when we return back in the evening for the break of the 21-day fast, you will be celebrating and dancing all manner of testimonies. And before that tomorrow evening, if there is any notable witch or wizard who vowed that your story will not change, they shall not see that tomorrow evening. So shall it be. Go forth in the name of the Father, another son another holy ghost lift it higher be flat as you live here today as you step into this next season the Lord bless you Adonai keep you El Shaddai make his face to shine upon you. The Lord bless you. I am that I am keep you. Adonai make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you with the light. And be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you peace. In everything you do, I say, the Lord bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, bless you, keep you. Oh, Adonai, make his face to shine off on you. Oh, and be gracious unto you, and be, and be, and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up. Congratulations. God bless you. In Jesus' name and 2024. And above only, where is your place? Above only, that is your place. God bless you. Those in the front, please remain. For, the re for everyone, you go preserved. As preserved as you came, so preserved shall you return. You will not enter the wrong vehicle. Kidnapper's vehicle is not your portion. Ritualist vehicle is not your portion. One chance is not your portion. Accident is not your portion. Go in peace and in safety. In Jesus' name. All the technical staff that did work overnight to ensure that the things are all in place. God bless you and God reward you. Securities and everyone, all the workforce, God bless you in Jesus' name. Those in the front right here, our counselors will speak with you briefly. They won't waste your time. In fact, they will speak with you right here. And then you can proceed. God bless you. Celebrations.
Lord. Can we quickly give them the phones? the forms filled. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Please ensure you pick a form. Write your names, your addresses, and your telephone number and return same to us before you go.